Hey everybody, thank you so much for showing up today um, to, to this little uh, impromptu concert. I'm sure some of you, you know, gave your arm and your leg to be here. I sure didn't. <laughs> Wrote a song about our current little predicament and situation, um, so I hope you enjoy it. One, two, three, four. We are so screwed. We're all gonna die. Things are bad, Chip took a fall, so take my hand, fuck it, we fall. We are so screwed We're all gonna die Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, wow, it's such a pleasure to be here. We're all gonna fucking die. Previously in the Black Sea, the three captains of the Riptide Pirates face a harrowing conflict against a crew of sinister pirates. Their sorceress weaved powerful magic to stop the flow of time, allowing the captain to present Chip and Jay with another ultimatum. She showed each mind the near future of your inevitable defeat and called for you to either sacrifice the remaining survivors of this island or a cost of Jay's arm and leg. Chip rejected these ideas with a slash onto Griffin's chains and thus the fuck it weeball doctrine was added to the Riptide Oath. <laughs> We're bad pirates. We're terrible pirates. As time resumed, the situation quickly became a race against it. As Gillian rushed through the palace hoping to make it soon enough to turn the tides, as the battle proceeded, Captain Widow watched from above. Jay was nearly turned into a crystallized nutrient sack, potentially lost forever, but managed to escape this fate and down the sorceress that was leading her to it. Chip helps defeat the sorceress and frees Griffin, but is crushed and tossed aside by Gardag. Just before Gillian, Misty steps through the keyhole of the door into this chamber, that is steadily filling with the stench of death. And so the journey continues. I immediately imprint on the nearest enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you imprint on the egg. Gillian, I assume that you used everything on your turn to both get here and Misty step through the door so your turn is ending. Yeah, 100%. That's, a, that's all I got. As soon as you bust in, what do you say? <laughs> Silvery mist. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> the uh, environment, everyone just sort of stops, heads flick over to you, and this brief moment in the chaos of stillness. And as it shakes off, people resume fighting. Zamia shouts out at you Where is she? Where's Star? Did you find her? And she's like still getting flung around in these chains. Yes, I found them. I found a bunch of people, but we couldn't find their weapons. So they're out figuring that out. They said you guys needed my help. <sighs> she's safe. She's safe. We'll make sure you are too. You watch Zamia as soon as she hears that, flexes her muscles and then just <laughs> bursts out of the chains. Yeah! And one go, seeming like she was holding back her strength here until this moment so that she could have more energy for middle of the battle. And as soon as she does, she falls to the ground and then she jumps up with Ignis who freed himself and they both grab two of the remaining or, or one of the remaining chains that Yuridi has been slinging around and then they both slam her to the ground. Damn, they got teamwork. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> Next up, however, is the captain. It's been a week, so I'm optimistic again. about. <laughs> Me too. Any hope I had lost is now regained. It's regained. And everything's we fine. It's gonna be great. Hey, where's Chip? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chip. Hello. You are incapacitated and technically unconscious and you failed the death save. And for the remainder? You did? He got hit, he got thrown. Oh, 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 oh. You are unconscious, but I will allow you to squeak words out if you feel the need, but you are dying. I feel like I missed a lot. 
it's been rough up here. We shouldn't have let ourselves get chained up and, and, and you know, brought to these guys. <laughs> Big mistake. But that's in the past. Yeah. And right now, Chip <laughs> is hurting, so... <laughs> we'll be all right. Well, big surprise. I actually <laughs> didn't die and I faked my death, but I bet you had no idea. They knew that. Oh, they, they knew that. They have like some kind of foresight. Oh, so they they just they just let me. Yeah. Okay. The captain begins to crawl down from the ceiling. She says, "This truly could have been simple." You can easily overcome the loss of limbs with the science of Edison Kingdom. Wait, what? Huh? Yo, the sack. <laughs> <laughs> we would have finished the Queen's growth, our ritual, and everyone would have gone their separate ways. Alive. Yet, you all intend to fight to the end. I, lady, I just got here. I if not for the rules of this game, I would have shot you already. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's really funny. <laughs> she doesn't smile or show any emotion with the half of her face that you can see. Instead, you watch her stab the walls with her spider legs that come out of her back as she is climbing over to chip. And the air becomes thick with dread as all of her eyes turn red, except for the green glow that bursts from her abdomen as the sickly sixth one opens. In the same moment, each body in this chamber feels their chest pulse forward like she's gripped invisible threads connected to your heart. My little beater. She hovers above Chip. His body begins to convulse. She yanks up hard. Blood erupts from his mouth. <coughs> you see amethyst veins bulge in his throat. Black ink drip from his eyes. One final tug, you watch this captain yank Chip's heart out through his mouth. <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, uh uh, uh uh. Inside check. No fucking, no. What the fuck? Were my last words the sack? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. I hope not. Insight for what? I, I, I said it as half a bit, but there's no way. This was not a fucking... I can't... Oh, I wish using detect magic was an action. Why can't it be a reaction? I'm not buying it. Yeah. He falls to the ground. Chip! Ch Chip? Put that back! <laughs> um... Fuck, fuck the rules of this game. Why can't I shoot her? Do you two... <laughs> This side of the room becomes darker. Her skin almost seems like it's more translucent. You begin to see seven faint red glows circulating through her body as her silhouette tilts her head back and an eighth slides down her throat. That's the captain's turn. Chip, I know you're dead and it's like human nature to do it. Do, do not piss your pants. Do not. Do not do it. Do not piss your pants. This is- what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, she just- yeah. she- what the fuck? Is this real? This feels like a bit. Bad- bad spider lady. <laughs> At the end of the round, as always, you do get a crew action. I, what? One second, let me open the fucking sheets. Man. I have Go poor cardiovascular it. health. Does this impact her in any way? Your, your heart is just black and withered. <laughs> your, 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 your heart is more clot than blood. I eat only red meat. It does not. I mean, healing word on chip would be great, but um, does he need the, <laughs> he needs that. Um, He needs that, I assume, right? He needs that? Okay. Um, huh, huh, okay, huh. What the fuck? I want to say healing word on Chip. It's got to be a bit. I mean, she's like, doing yeah. a bit. She's doing a bit. She's trying to be Dude, funny. I don't know. I think she ripped my fucking heart out and ate it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. Yeah, I think she did do that. You're right. <laughs> Only this group of players can have this happen and just laugh at it the entire time. Well, I just, I just, it's because, it's because I, I just didn't I disbelieve I'm not, at I'm it. Not, I'm not criticizing. I, it's a different kind of laughter. Oh, no. And also, like, we just started and I was having, like, a really good time and and now the vibe shift is like a lot and i don't know how to deal with that emotionally like i'm stunned by i don't i'm looking at this stupid fucking i don't know what to do anymore <laughs> we're healing word on ship 
That's the answer. I mean, what else would we do? You know what? Yeah. Nice try with your illusions, witch. Quick queen, healing word. <laughs> um, uh, and they were currently trying to outplay, slightly resist this fear that's inside of them with this person or this song they recognize in front of them, this other bard who's playing the violin, and they switch their attention and they see what's happened, and then they just start to gently play almost like the melody of a, a soft piano track, but on their bow, and then the magic drifts up through the air like a musical staff, like sheet music, and then gently rests on the chip as it sparkles across him. But there's no movement. Oh, fuck. Have I now failed both of my death, death no, saves? I, I, no, I, you're, you're dead. I think you're dead, dead. On my sheet, I have one death failure. On your sheet, do you have a heart? <laughs> Take it off. It's not on here. Take the heart off your sheet. You don't have it anymore. Can I have your inventory, bro? And also your kidneys. I took those a while ago and sold them. What? What? And also your liver, or last. I did it while you slept. I need those things. <laughs> I've been pissing so much blood, guys. Yeah, you're, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like genuinely fucking. What the fuck? No, is I you? know, I know. Humor is a coping mechanism. Like I just, dude, I'm coping hard right now. Yes. What functionally is happening? The last thing that you saw was the faint image of Gillian arriving in the silvery mist, and then you feel like a string wrapped around your heart, and then. Your vision went black, but you still felt it being pulled. When you said we weren't going to like what happened today, I thought you meant Niklaus was going to show up and call himself daddy again. I did not think you meant murder chip eating <laughs> chip's one. heart turn fucking Good God, fuck. okay. Oh my God. And then it was darkness. Until it isn't. You sit up rapidly. <sighs> and everyone sees this. Shit. <laughs> oh, I knew shit. it would work. Nice job, queen. I get it. I think. You can effectively long rest your character. Uh oh. I don't like this. I don't like this direction. I it's think gonna... I figured something <laughs> out and I don't like it. <laughs> Take your turn as normal. How many people are in this room? There are six others. One of them isn't here. You're feeling me now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are six of her crew in here, if that's what you're wondering. Yes, of her crew. Chip, whenever you come to and you look up, you see Captain. Widow and her large, larger than a human, large form, spider legs towering over you, still witnessing these faint glows circulating through her body before they disappear and her skin becomes less opaque once more. And she's not smiling at you. She just looks at you. The chip just kind of like laying there peacefully, dead as hell. <laughs> 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 it's one way to say it. <clears throat> uh, feeling a little lighter, guys. What's going on? <laughs> uh, um, is there anything else? Like Chip is paler. He's got blood running down his chin and his throat. He's got these thick veins coming up the throat, down the chest. Shit. I mean, you've always been slightly morally questionable, but I think you needed that. Definitely needed that. Chip, are you are you needed feeling what? what? Are you feeling good? There's something on my face? Yeah, I feel better. No, then yeah, there's a little something here and a little something not here in this general area. Well, Gillian, with you here, maybe we can actually do this. Chip, you just Lost your heart, man. I don't know. I feel good now. <laughs> oh, um, hmm. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, not oh, at full HP. You feel restored in the sense where you have your strength, your nimbleness, you can move, but you're not breathing. Oh, this motherfucker undead. Oh, shit. Now, Chip, what's that smell? <laughs> it's not your turn. It's not your turn. <laughs> just, like, just like fucking a shark and finding Nemo. I mean, what would you like? You still see uh, Uridi being taken on by both Zamia and Ignis. This giant turtle monstrosity of a of a turtle being 
singled by uh, Griffin, though he's taken some heavy blows and damage because he's big but smaller than this this foe. Um, you see Kardak watches and then... <laughs> I love it when she does that. Uh, and then the sorceress is still on the ground. Jay looks on at you with shock from near the throne. Gillian just teleported into the middle of the room. The captain stands behind you, her legs attached to the wall, just slightly above you. And you just heard her say, Go on. Let's keep fighting. What did you just do? I've given you the ability to fight. No matter how many times you die. Just as the rest of my crew. Clearly you can see now. She gestured towards Gillian in the middle of the room. The future is fickle and fate is always changeable. That's why we have to stay fancy on our feet. You can continue. Try and best my crew. But you won't be able to kill them. Unless you're willing to risk killing you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I guess all Chip would really do here is... Look over to his crew. To his captains. Well, well what do we do? I don't feel right, I'm... I think she just fucked up. Because now, all three of us are going to beat the shit out of her. And then I'm going to rip that heart back out. And I'm going to put it back in. Wouldn't that just kill me? I've never done it before, but it might work. You would see um, the flame tattoos on Chip's cold, dead arm. Oh, my God. Start to light up a little. And he'd ready a firebolt. Shakily aim it up at the sack. And what if I destroy this, huh? Then it was all for nothing. She didn't say a thing. Doesn't even flinch. What the fuck are you? I'll drop. The fireball. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> I think I'll pass Chip's turn then. Next up would be the sorceress, but she's downed. For now. Fuck, now I had to think about <laughs> what I want to do. I look at Jay. I look at Gillian. I look at Chip. He's just like looking down at his own dead hands. Kind of freaking out a little bit. A little spiraling happening. Back to Gillian. Back to Chip. Back to <laughs> Jay. Spiraling. spiraling hard. Look over at Queen. La, 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 la. Don't look at me. Go over at Griffin. <laughs> look at Pretzel. Look at Jay. Look down at my hands. Look at Chip's <laughs> hands. Look at the sack. Look at Chip. Look at the sack. Look at Jay. Look at the sack. <laughs> Tilt my head. Look at the sack. Raise an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need it? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I just don't know if fighting is really the play. Like, we can't win anymore. Yeah, we can. Because I'm delusional. <laughs> okay, well, here's the deal. I, I think Jay would be sitting there kind of shocked trying to process everything that just happened looking towards chip looking towards gillian unsure what to do absolutely. and then in the corner of her eye she would absolutely see fucking skull crusher over there fucking you know what's it called when they like drag their hoof through the ground before they charge <sighs> yeah what you're about, yeah yeah i'm like shit <laughs> fuck this we're still balling <laughs> i guess I'm gonna take the two pot shots at the motherfucker. Yeah, Griffin gets slammed with his turtle shell. <laughs> ballin'. Yes, ballin'. Go ahead, roll the hit. Fuck, I missed. 12. 12 does miss. Um, fuck my life, 13. <laughs> so, it's not that they actually miss, it's that they <laughs> just kind of bounce off of his really thick hide, uh, com accompanied with, like, his sh sh very, very minimal leather armor. <laughs> Shit. Chip, I don't know what happens from here, but we still gotta fight. We'll make it work out. Yeah? Just like we said, right? I, I look him like right in the eye. We always make it work out. As a Riptide pirate and captain, I promise we're going to make it out of this. Fuck it. 
We ball. We ball. (laughs) (laughs) And thus a new doctrine was born. (laughs) One second, what's my bonus actions look like? I used all my resources so much earlier, I think. Dude, I know a freaking crazy way to get a long rest. You gotta trust me on this. So if you just... (laughs) (laughs) There's actually this... There's actually this exploit I found in this level where if you walk up to this lady and you say inflaming things to her, she'll kill you and rip your heart out. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's my turn. Something like this would have never happened had we not been playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> uh, that's Jay's turn. Next up is Gutter Deck. Oh, shit. I just got here, bro. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. It looks like he uh, smashes his two his fists together and there's like a spark of lightning between them, but he's like, Ugh, still not to recharge. So, old reliable picks up the uh, same column of stone from the of some running broke off and smash chip with and he looks at uh at jay and looks at gillian the uh, small one first and then throws it chunks it at you wait am i the small one wait who's the small one uh, jay is smaller than gillian right i think so i don't know like in frame or? i don't i don't really uh... when he's looking directly at me i'm five nine you're wearing like a million you like a million points of armor <laughs> right i'm, I'm wide <laughs> You have like so much fucking he's like that. Ugh. I'm five seven. Like Jay's five seven, so I don't know how tall she is. Oh, but lucky for you, he only rolls an uh, eighteen. That doesn't sound lucky. An eighteen will still hit. That sounds fucky. I said lucky for you, and then I actually added the numbers together. My bad. Unlucky <laughs> you for you, he rolls an eighteen. You fool. <laughs> Jay will be fine. Is this our, like, <laughs> delusional arc? Is this just... Yeah, I think we're just delusional. I mean, I don't know. If we say nuh enough, it won't happen. Nuh-uh. nuh I believe I've already been yuh Yeah, I think yeah, you Yeah, you've been yuh pretty hard. But I'm gonna nuh your your yuh nuh <laughs> You take 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh-huh. Breaks off another column. <laughs> Hurls that shit at you. Hey! Stop that! How many columns are in this room? You're gonna, like, collapse the roof. The natural 17. Have respect for architecture. You take another 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry, what did you say? He looks at you, uh, Gillian. I said, stop it! I faked my death <laughs> once, but you know what? If you hit me again, I might die for real, and I bet you like that, don't you? But if I hit you, <laughs> you might die for real. Let's do it, big guy. You can roll persuasion or intimidation for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll persuasion. I'm gonna appeal to his, uh, it's only a 13. Okay. Are you saying I should stop holding back? Huh? <laughs> he charges at you again and he goes for a fucking whoosh, and suddenly he's right in front of you and his fist is above your head and he's going slam down. I look up and I already, already took Kutox. <laughs> <laughs> That's a um, 17 to hit. Doesn't hit, but uh slams into the ground next to you. You just kinda like dodge out of the way. In my in my heart, it hits. <laughs> in my I watch myself die and then I step out of the way. Uh he didn't hit you, he doesn't get to make his Grapple, so that is Gardak's turn, Gillian, he's right next to you. He looks like he hasn't taken any damage at all. He hasn't taken any damage? Um... High spirits. Well, Gardak, it's been great, but... She's got something I want. Um, I'm just gonna take the opportunity attack. Uh, I'm going for Spider Lady. Alright, yeah, sure. I'm gonna- I'm moving back and forth really, really quick! See? 23 to hit. Good thing I have haste. Making my AC 25. I do a backflip. And I run away. Okay. You're, you're in the same person. I run over to her and I say, it's your thing time. I pull out my sword. Um, actually, Destiny's blades hum. Oh, there's no way this will work, but I gotta try it. What are you gonna do? She's probably got such a, oh, fuck it. I cast command. Okay. What's the save? Uh, it's a wisdom save. And I look at her, I point at her chest, return. To be honest, she fails to save, but I don't know how to interpret that. I want to, I mean, I, I'm I'm trying to get her to give her fucking heart back. That's, if she can, if she can't, that's that's that. But and maybe she'll I, just walk back to her position on the her. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't want to dishearten you. <laughs> That's not how the hearts work. That's okay. Now we know. I think she just kind of goes back to the ceiling. Cool. Right next to the throne in the egg. <laughs> okay, cool. Walks so away from she, starts, she starts walking away from me. I'll take an opportunity attack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, okay. Not like that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. <laughs> take, oh, wait, fuck. So do I. She's leaving my range, too. Take the fucking swing. Yeah, fuck this bitch. Fuck this shit. Yeah, kill, kill her. Fuck her up. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Dude, keep, um, him, keep casting command. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's only a 14. 14 doesn't hit. Damn it. Okay. Come on, Chibo. 
17? 17 does not hit her. Oh, fuck! Does she, where does, so does she, wow. Does she move, does she just go now? She's just gone? She almost like reflexively moves her, two of her free spider legs in front of your sing sing weapons, and then she just continues going back towards the throne above the spider egg. Hey, get back here! <laughs> Run after her. It was worth a shot. I guess, um, then we're just gonna have to take it ourselves. You sure this is a good idea? <laughs> I'm Gillian. Okay. okay. <laughs> she has spider climb. She's on the wall. She's getting higher. If you're going to try and attack her again, how are you going to get? Oh, so she's just she's just up the wall now? She's running. She's not running, but she's climbing back up the wall and back up towards the ceiling. Imagine you're on like a cube. Oh, she yeah. was on like the bottom left. And now she's just kind of going in a diagonal straight, in a diagonal line towards the uh, adjacent Fuck. wall. Okay. Above um, the throne in the sack. If you fling me, I can hit her. Also, additionally, none of you feel the effects of Bane anymore. Oh, that's oh, good. That's nice. I forgot about that. Okay, so just to just to be sure, where is she right now? Like, is she up on the ceiling? Is she on the wall? I'm gonna say because it's it's still your turn. It's not like with this command, she's gonna get 40, you know, 30 feet away from you or 60 feet. Can I still get to her? I think you could still get to her with your turn. It'll just take your movement for this. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll do that for now. As soon as she's up there, I'll, I'll, I'll ready the uh, the gilly poked. Okay, I'm gonna bonus action. Um, Quicken spell Glacial Blade. Uh, Destiny's Blade lights up with this frost. Uh, take a swing at her. Mm, please, God, please, God, please, God. Okay, 26 to hit. 26 hits. Just at her? No more specific? Just slashing at her. I mean, if I can stab into the heart situation and try and take out one, I won't complain. Okay, that's something different entirely. Do you actually want to try that? Wait, how many people? Okay, so sorry, math. How many people are in this room on her crew? Six. Six, including her. I want to know if it seems like she has her own heart there's in herself only, too. There's only four of her crew in this room. Four of her crew, collector somewhere else. She's here. The one you killed in the jail. One I killed in the jail. So that's four in this room, collector five, jail six. She's seven. How many hearts does she have? Eight. Yeah, and then Chibo. She's eight, including or not including Chibo? Including. Maybe the egg. Art is in her. Oh, this is this is fucked. Um, Chibo is definitely in there. So if there's if there's eight total, Chibo is one of them. Yeah, that's that's what I want to know. In the time that she was swallowing his heart, you counted seven that were circulating, and with chips that makes a total of eight. So that masks out. So she's got her own heart in there, right? Potentially, or there's somebody we haven't met yet. You know what? I, heart's gonna be easier to stab if she's a oh, granddad. <laughs> so I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stab her with this attack. That is going to do 11 slashing, five cold damage. I have one attack left from haste. <laughs> I'm gonna use prophetic screw up, which historically always works out. Always works out. I don't think I've seen a situation where it hasn't. I think one time. Did you predict this? Uh, my eyes fucking <laughs> light up. Hair starts flying back like it's underwater. Uh, the sword, like, boosh, sort of this just burst of holy energy encompasses it, making it even larger as I take this incredible swing and roll a d20. It's a fucking seven. I fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's Why never do I worked. Try? It's never Why worked. Do I try? No. Dude, it's Bro. so funny that you have that because you always historically roll bad. It's insane. That shit has never worked. <laughs> you said you went for, okay. You go for this wide swing, you light up, channel your divinity, and then you slash at her. And then again, reflexively, one of her spider legs comes in front of it. And it's harder than you expected, almost like hitting steel and goes, boom, boom, hits you right fucking back in the face. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you take half damage. You're fucking kidding, bro. Oh, you're and, fucking kidding. I did fucking okay. I take six damage. I have to make a concentration check. I may just immediately go lethargic. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I just. Oh, oh fuck. Um, no way. That would suck, dude. Okay, I'm okay on you're the good, con save. Good. I'm on the con save, but I do just absolutely fucking nail myself. Shit. Come on. Hey. Was that the red thread of destiny? What was that? I shouted destiny's blade. That was not me. You hear in your head. I was cl clearly, clearly all you. I just look at her. Get, get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> Who trained you, Gillian Tide Strider? 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> and why does this keep happening? <laughs> uh, this woman is the most apathetic woman you've ever seen, but you swear to God, when you hear yourself in the face, you swear you see her just... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> okay. Uh, is that your turn, Gil? <laughs> yeah. She's going to use her 60 feet of climbing, get back to where she was, high up on the ceiling, and... That's where she is now. She takes glacial. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, it's not going to be. She's moving. Time. Yeah, it's when she moves. Yeah. Uh, she I takes eight, the... 18, 18 cold damage when she moves. I think we have Griffin do a uh, bungo blast. What the fuck is a bungo? Hang on. You want bungo blast? Let's succeed or be knocked. Oh, can we try and knock her off the wall? I was well. I mean, he's fighting uh, Gardak, right? He's in the middle of a battle with Gluto, so whatever he does Gluto. is like a one-off thing for this round, yeah. She's going to go all the way up the wall, and we're going to have a really hard time dealing with her. So I think if we can knock her prone. Yeah, if we can knock her prone, that would be good. Go ahead, call it. Bongo Blast! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even, like, call his name. Good. Oh, Griffin! <laughs> Griffin! Bongo Blast! This is Bongo Blast. I mean, what can, does that mean? Can I roll it? Uh, actually, you know what? Condi roll it. Me roll it, really. Dude, I yeah, rolled, you, like, really bad so better. far. You have better fucking luck than than All right, me, yeah, I'm with it. Bongo blast! Woo! Twenty-four. Oh, bongo yeah. blast! <laughs> bongo, 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 bongo. You want bongo blast? Sure. We want bongo blast. Hey, are you sure you want to fight both of them at the same time? I know I want Bongo Blast. He's he's kind of spitting facts, but like, yeah, true. Ducks out of the way from a shell and then immediately aims up, <laughs> hits uh, the captain, but she's gonna, she she rolled over his DC, passes that shit, natural 17, does not get pushed back or knock prone, but we'll take, um, I'm gonna say she takes half damage because that's cool. Okay, go ahead, roll 48. Con 48. Uh, 17 damage total. And these special ammunitions are limited, so I have to roll a d6 to see if they recharge. If you want to use them again. Got it. Got it. Next up is the top of the round. It's going to be checked. Can I get to the captain? Do you have any way to climb 60 feet up? Mm, or more? No. I mean, I want to fight her. She's just so far up. Yeah, well, we can deal with one thing at a time a little bit. I think Gillian can do more there. Hey, welcome back from the dead. Believe me? Wait, what? No, that was Gardak. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you sound like you sound like somebody I know. My heart just dropped. Welcome back from the dead. Fuck you. I don't sound like anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like me. Sorry, I forgot that was your voice, man. I just I'll kill you, guys. So you just go. somebody I know made a you know really strong impression. Yeah. It's just you're making you're making me second guess my. Accent. No, it's it's more of like a thing where it's like it's a me thing. I think maybe if you kill him, the accent will change again. All right, this fuck is it. just this is just where I'm from. Fuck you, I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm going to attack Gardak. Roll to hit. That's going to be... Oh, God. Fuck! Dude, it's a 13. 13 does not hit. Dude, what is going on? What's in, Something's in the like air. Ass. Something's in the fucking air today. I'm, ro I'm rolling with my physical dice because fuck this shit. <laughs> D&D Beyond is bullshit. Second attack with your offhand bonus. Yep, 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 yep. First one, he just sort of grabs yep. the sword. That is a dirty, stinky 20. Then that one does hit. Roll damage for that singular attack. Just gonna say fuck you, D&D Beyond. I like you, D&D <laughs> Beyond. You're good at most things. It's nice. It's nice sometimes. Okay. Um, That's gonna be motherfucking nine piercing. Okay. Four fire. That's not much. Can we get some sneaky? We can get some sneaky. I believe you can. There's right? only one enemy. We can get sneaky. Good sneaky. Seven. Dude, I rolled bad on all. Like, what the fuck? I got a 17. It's a, little, it's a little tiny sneaky. That's okay. Yeah, that's 30 total damage. And then I'm going to use my fancy footwork to avoid a opportunity attack. And I'm all for it. You kind of watch the flames from your sword almost absorb into his hide. That was good. And I'm so happy that we can finally be fighting like we all wanted originally. Was your accent always like that? To the dead. <laughs> it's good. I'm trying to make it stronger so you don't think that I'm the frog. God, every time it gets stronger, he bulks up slightly. What's going on? I don't know the frog. That's the DM talking. <laughs> Next up is going to be Jake. Is there any position in in the place where everybody or a lot of people on my team are within 10 feet of me? Within 10 feet, um, you're gonna you would have to move in sort of the middle of the battle of Igneous Zamia. Uh, Gluto and, and 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 Griffin in order to get them because they're sort of on the left far left side of the room all together. You guys are in the center and on the right side of the room with Gardak. You're gonna have to choose. You either choose Gillian and Chip or you choose. Uh, I think this turn. The uh, NPCs. I'm going to. How how rough do the NPCs look? Uh, Griffin looks uh, fucking rough, but I mean he's 
he's holding in he's griffin he's fucking he's hype he's lost too many times get he i, I i'm honestly gonna give him that fucking uh what is that <laughs> thing where you go down but you come back up at one <laughs> relentless endurance yeah i'm giving him that because he's pissed that he's he's not losing anymore yeah he has been taking else zombie looks fresh and they are they are tag teaming Uridi, and they look like they're doing good awesome okay i believe in griffin He's gonna take. He's gonna take that W. Surely, <laughs> surely. I know he is. I have faith in him. I believe in him. I'm gonna get close to the Gillian and Chip, and using my one spell slot that I have left that I found out that I can do because I finally learned to read. I'm gonna summon another Eldritch Cannon, and this is gonna be a Protector Cannon, and it is gonna provide one D8 plus four temp HP every single turn. I got a max roll. 12 hit points to everybody. Yeah. Is it hit points or temp? How does it work? Temp. Okay. That's actually fucking huge though. Holy shit. Hey, Gardak, that's our friend. Don't. Yeah. That's. Don't. If you fuck with him, you fuck with me. Yeah. Its name is Blicky. Listen, listen. All is fair in love and war. If I get it too, I won't destroy it. Oh shit. He's bargaining. Oh, he's bargaining. He's bargaining. All right. If we give you the temp HP, you have to help us um, <laughs> kill your Kill mom. your captain. Yeah. No. Of course not. Dude, she took your heart, man. How does that feel? And I would give it to her again and again. She's earned that. All right. We'll give you the temp HP if you chill out. What? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like, like we'll, we'll give you the temp HP if you just kind of fuck off. Wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. One of you roll persuasion with disadvantage. Because this is so funny. Chip, 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 chip. It has to chip, be chip. Chip, 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 Here's the thing. I shouldn't do it. That's not fair. That's so fair. No, dude. The minimum I can get is a 25. That's that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the DC for this is probably pretty high. I don't know, man. I'm... DM, does that make it completely unfair? Does that make it roll, bullshit? Roll for it, man. Roll for it. Dude, I mean, this is a crazy ass. If he doesn't, if he doesn't care, you're a fucking... I got a natural you know? 20. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! I never, I never said what the what you were persuading. Okay, natural oh, twenty, okay. fucking perfect. Am I? I'm a disadvantage. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, you are a disadvantage. You are a disadvantage. Oh, oh shit. shit! Natural seventeen. That's a thirty-two. What the fuck? That's so bro? stupid, dude. That's really good. <laughs> All right, Jay, finish your turn, and I'll do what he does. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, do I need to give him the temp HP this turn? For for this deal to go on, or yeah, like, dude, what's do the... it. Oh yeah, definitely. If you want him to chill out, you have to give him the part of that deal. Jay, you gotta give him the tab H. He's you know, look at him. He's got kind eyes. Yeah, okay, yeah. So he's gonna get that every. He's gonna get that every round, right? Well, I had I choose every round. You can't just take it back. Are we stupid? It it doesn't it didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what is this bit? Is cr we're we're gonna have to kill it ourselves? Dude, just give it to him. Dude, he said he'd chill. He said he'd be chill. He said he'd be, be freaking chill. If you give it to him. Until the end of the fight. Okay, so it has to be until the end of the fight, is what you're saying. Until until you beat him, yeah. If you give it to him, I swear. I swear yeah, fuck to it, God. fuck it, 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 fuck it. We all, whatever. All is so fair in level was, more. It was yeah. 12 this round. Do you roll it every round? I roll it every round. Okay, 12 this round. Got it. Next up was guard deck. Okay, man, chill out. <laughs> okay, what's going to happen right now? All right. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. What yeah, is this? It's, it's what, nice, uh, right? Did, it's you, like a, it's did like you build it? Did you build this? Yeah, I built it myself. Yeah, it's just like a warm kind of bath of light kind of a mm. surrounding you, you know? It has a scent to it, too. Is What is that? Is that like a, is that a, is that a wood burning candle as well? It's like a nice crackle. Yeah, no, it's lavender. It's lavender. I can't smell it because I'm dead, but yeah, I bet it does smell good. Did you never smell before? I've used this before on you. No, I don't. I chose the scent because you said you liked it once. It reminds me as one of the layers of the nine hells, but I can't I can't put my finger on it. Oh, maybe the maybe the vanilla bean layer is that a layer? Because that's what I'm no. getting. Oh, have you been? I feel a lot more chill now though. <laughs> I, I'm actually not really even chill, sure. Yeah, dude, I don't even want to fight I you. I mean, like, can we just like walk <laughs> away, like, you know? Oh no, ne next round we're fucking we're at it again. Oh, okay, you did you said you would chill. <laughs> that's his turn. Next up is Gillian. Oh shit. Um, yeah. So here's the thing. Um, I look up. She's what sixty feet up? Yeah, uh, I think as unless that sounds insane for a high ceiling in a palace. Sixty okay. feet yeah. architecturally would would be like inconvenient for everybody. It's like that's like huge, right? Like that's crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, thirty feet then. Okay, cool. Thirty-five. <laughs> Thirty-five, you bitch. Okay. Thirty-five feet. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I look up. I look up once. I don't think I can reach her. I look up again. I think I can reach her. Look up again. Maybe I can reach her. <laughs> um, okay. You have haste, right? It's my destiny to reach her. Yeah, but she's on the ceiling. What I mean, Spider-Man. Hey, if, uh, friendly advice. You don't look like good full power, and 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 if you're not at full power, there's no way you're going to land a hit on. Well. 
you haven't seen my vertical. <laughs> um, I light up Destiny's blade with my bonus action, and I'm going to. I can. I've. I think I've done this only once, but I can expend a charge of Destiny's blade to do a lunar slash. I'm gonna try and jump up five feet. I'm gonna try and jump up in the air because the range on this is thirty feet. I'm gonna try and jump up in the air and take my attacks on her. By, by swinging my sword in the air and causing these lunar crescents to fly out towards her. Five foot vertical leap was impressive. I, w I will say, I will say as well, if I have to comically hop for each attack, I 100% will. <laughs> I will get on Gardak's head and shoulders. But he's, and like, he, won't, he won't allow that. He won't allow that. I will play with him. No, he's chill though, remember? No, he won't allow that. I'll get on Chip's shoulders. I'll crumble. There's gotta be like a pillar around oh, that you okay, can okay. jump on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, Surely I can figure something out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Throwing those Don't worry. Like nothing. I get a 12. I'll say that's enough to get five feet up. <laughs> okay. I find like, yeah, I try and jump. Okay, <laughs> right, just, just a little short. I like, I like stack up. I have haste. I stack up some rubble really fast. <laughs> Climb up it. Okay, yeah. Um, jump up, take these lunar slashes at her. Um, so these do... Okay, I have to use three charges to take these attacks, which is a lot, but whatever. That's like half of Destiny's Blade. First to hit, 16. Right into the ceiling next to her. Fuck! Second to hit, 24. That collides with, uh, with Captain Widow. Third to hit, 24. Once again, same number, that hits. <laughs> two of them hit. Okay, she's going to take... 23 radiant damage. That's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna position myself uh, uh, next to next to Jay. Actually, next to Gardak. Hey, Gardak, you look like you're um coming off the chill a little bit. Everything okay? Is it uh, Jay? Do you need Jay? Can you change the smell? He looks like he's he looks like he's tweaking a little bit. Um. Uh. Okay. I've got uh. One second. Um. Uh. Calm. Calming. Uh, resin? Coming, coming resin? What is a resin? Oh, it's like it, wood, it smells like it's, it's burning, work. Jay. It smells it's like it's burning. Wood, no, it's like woodworking. Now I'm pissed. Now I'm fucked. Uh, shit, my bad. Um, up, up, uh, morning, morning, <laughs> morning shit. I've got morning shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, I'm, we're doing this. <laughs> Draw my sword to Gardak. Sorry. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I look at him. I've taken morning shit's bigger than you. Uh, I go, <laughs> I go ahead. Uh, I'm going to end my turn. Well, it's okay. I don't need to give them temp HP every turn. As in, like, I don't need to use it. I don't need to use the bonus action every turn. I guess you could just stop healing all of us. Or, you know, maybe he's just, like, conveniently out of the 10-foot range. I could try and push him away or something. Yeah, I don't know. But Next up is the captain. You can get in on this, too, if you chill. This thing has a built-in hookah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can all just Jay, chill. Jay, what sort of, like, <laughs> cra I don't know. Gar garage <laughs> shit is this? <laughs> Who are you? Do I even know you? <laughs> it's like Jay's teenage years resurfaced with her with her craft. Is it Jay? Is it emanating vape? Is that <laughs> what is that? Is that a mint pod in there? <laughs> Jay, have, do you have to recharge this thing with pods? <laughs> yes, I do. I do every day. <laughs> I vape all the time. What about it? The captain. You hear her voice throughout the entire room. I wanted to give you a chance to prove your might. Where the odds were still even. But you are incessant on including me. And you feel again that zoom, like she rips something in the air that you can't see connected to everyone. And then Jay, you feel that connection stick. Like you were hit by a web linked. The captain. Oh no. And that is her turn next up top of the round. Oh wait, we have the crew action. Griffin, can you come over here really quickly? Oh, he cannot. He's in the middle of a fight. Queen, can you come over here really quickly? You can run up. Uh, they back up to you. What do you want to do? I whisper, I go, pss, 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 and then I stare at the captain. La, I don't think I can do that, Law. <laughs> <laughs> just really quick, just so we can see. You do it, Law. You do it, Law. Captain, I'm sorry. This musician, I know them from somewhere, Law. From where? They turn back around, they face them as they're still kind of just playing that violin. They have done nothing but play the violin yeah. for this entire fight. Completely passive, completely calm. And Queen shouts out at them. I know the song you play from before I was cursed, La. Before I lost myself. Turns back to you. They know what happened to me, La La La. So what should I do? Should I kill them? 
they are they're trying to keep composed, but they're gearing up. It's all right. You know, we can kill them too. Like they're part of the whole thing. I don't think they're asking us to kill. Uh, what what did you do? You want do you want Queen to do what you want? I'll I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just there's a I just want I just want to see. Yes, you get what I'm looking for, right? Why are you hiding it from everybody? <laughs> so Queen just nervously, like anxiously, shuffles over to Jay and then bonks her on the head with uh with their oboe. Just thunk. All right, does does the captain move in any way? You don't seem to see the captain. God react. damn it. Right, well, that didn't work. I think it's gonna work the opposite. He told me to do it. I don't. I don't know why. Long. Um, you I shouldn't listen. You shouldn't back. listen to Chip. Who let Chip take the ox? I don't want you to waste your crew action. So if there's something else you want uh, them to do, I have an can. idea. If it's if it's cool with you guys, uh, do we have Bongo Blast still? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I love Bongo Blast. Bongo Blast. Yeah, it actually rolled enough, so it re- recharged. <laughs> hey Griffin, can you do Bongo Blast again? <laughs> <laughs> I know you have more, but. I just like saying Bongo Blast. I really like Bongo Blast. All right, I only have a few more of those, but uh... <laughs> we'll make sure really we'll make sure you have plenty of Bongo Blasts for the next adventure. <laughs> You're really making me pull my weight today, huh? Uh, oh, did someone else want to roll it? I just rolled it. Uh, kind of fiction. <laughs> kind of fiction, man. Kind of fiction, kind of fiction. Uh, this is like a lot of pressure riding at me, no, man. No, you got it, you got it, you got it's it. It's a fucking 16. 16 unfortunately misses. No! Yeah. Fuck. It's kind of like silent at first. And then as soon as it impacts the wall, there's this loud concussive <laughs> thunderous sound. Okay. Uh, next up is top of the round, Chip. What are you going to do? Chip, bongo blast. Gardak, I don't have a bongo blast. We got to get you a bongo blast. Gardak, are you chill right now? Because I'm chill if you're chill. This is the first <laughs> time an enemy has ever given me a moment to just recharge. So I'm perfect. Are we going to, are we, you and me going to start? He said he was going to fight us next turn. Like on his next. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, that was it. So I mean, like this is a new turn now. I think our I think our peace treaty is kind of off. Except you know we just have the deal. Be a pirate, my friend. Fight to the death. It's what we do. It doesn't count if you come back. In fact, it's way less cool. Uh, skill issue. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hit him. <laughs> Go for it, man. <laughs> Natural one. Um, you know what that does. You break your sword or something. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then a 21. 20, 21 hits, yes. So you're chill? You're all good? Recharged? Rejuvenated? Come on, stab me already. I'm getting Nancy. Okay, I'm just making sure because, you know, we're all chill. Ah! <laughs> 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 whoa, whoa, I don't think this guy's chill. And I rolled a one on the damage. It's four. Gartak, I want you to know in another life, I feel like we really could have kicked it off. Maybe if you we were pirates 10 years ago. Yeah, and then... I mean, of my 2d6, that's 4, so that's 8. 22, sneaky. Yeah, that takes out his temp HP. Good. Felt good while it lasted. If we give it back, maybe he'll chill again. Oh, now you just smell the scent of death again. Ew, icky, yucky. (laughs) I still smell the nice mint pot. I'm going to use my movement to get out of range from him. Cheeky, 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 cheeky. Cheeky, indeed, cheeky. Cheeky cheeky. Fancy footwork out of range. Okay. Fancy footwork. Jay, what are you doing? Move Hunter's Mark. It's on him now. Uh, I, I like a glows blue or something now, and then uh, he's glowing. Why do I hear the sounds of the forest? You're going home, buddy. <laughs> so shoot him twice. I missed I'm the first one. I'm from hell. I don't. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, dir- There's no green. There's no green. A dirty, a dirty 20 and a 10. A dirty 20 hits, a 10 is not. Please, damage. 15 damage total. As I. <laughs> Pop two bullets into him. It was nice chilling, <laughs> though. I guess. So, what did we get out of healing him? You're about to find out. <sighs> maybe he was. Maybe he was storing it up power. Next turn, right? DM just cracked his neck before taking the enemy's turn. We're fucked. Yeah, <laughs> we're fucked. It's over. He once again slams his knuckles together, and then this almost like black lightning begins to crackle between him and then around both of his fists until it spreads down to his ribcage and then under to the smaller. Uh, uh, arms, all four of his fists are now coated in this lightning, and he- No, not lightning, not lightning! Please, <laughs> God, Dad, don't do it! Don't do it! Come on! It's strange. It, it, you can tell it's not of this world because it's almost like a fiery lightning. It, it, it just keeps shifting forms. Yeah. It's static, and then it's wispy. Uh, and then he excels as steam like sort of puffs from his nostrils and the eyes glow red from underneath that sort of like uh, armored helmet on his his minotaur head and he's going to just who is closer to him i guess he's he's gonna fucking it doesn't even matter he's going to strike jay and this 
arcs of this energy is going to spread from Jay to Gillian. And if Chip moved away, right? Hold on. Yes, Chip moved away. Chip moved away, so it's just going to be you two. Which means you guys need to make a deck save. Okay, so he's not, it's not like an attack. Is it an attack against Jay or no? It's just like a deck save thing. No, it's like a flavor deck save. Okay, okay, 21. okay. Oh, dex. It's just passing a dex, through. A 14? Nope, Jover. Nope, Jover. Pretty Jover. Pretty bye Jover. bye, Jover. So Jover. <laughs> so Jover. So unbelievably Jover. Incredibly Jover. Killing you do fail. Yeah, I know. Naturally. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's, that's the way I got born. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to recreate the prophecy again for a third time. I swear to God, I deserve <laughs> lightning resistance. It, this is not, this is like a fucking joke from God. <laughs> Jay. Ouchie. You take 19 points of lightning damage. Gil, you take 38 points of lightning damage. Absorb elements. <laughs> it's, it's not, no, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, the problem is I'm just going through these fucking spell points. Uh, yeah, I just get fucking fried. <laughs> Just <laughs> suck it in. Uh, you see that sort of, uh, there's like little traces of, of black lightning in me now. How much did Jay take? 19? 19. Okay, I'm still going to take 19. I'm going to need to make a con save. Please, 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 please. We're good. I'm good. 21. I only need the 10 or higher. I'm good. 19, 22. Would you believe me if I said I was holding back on that one? No. Come Maybe. on, man. I don't know. Just Come stop. on. Just stop. Just, hey, just like, show mellow. us some respect. Just mellow. Just take what you've got <laughs> and bring it down. Yeah. Listen, I'll bring back the scent even. I could use the scent. <laughs> I'm really fiending for the scent over here. He takes one more attack. Oh, no. What? No. His two actions? No. You don't. He, dude, we let him charge up. Who's he attacking? It's a uh, 20 to hit on Jay. Um, um. Hits you with the first one. This energy passes through your body. Hits Gillian. And the second one, he just goes for like a, a right cross. Uh, onto your, on your, your, onto your body. His fist is so fucking big. Yeah, no, that hits. I mean, it does. Dude, just say no. That's what I'm saying. True. I mean, what's he gonna do? Check? You take 11 points of bludgeoning damage, Jay. So you make another con check. Uh, I'm good still. Gillian, it's your turn. Oh, listen, man. You should have stayed chill. We need to go D&D &D mode and stop healing people. We do, we do. Okay, can I just ask, how is the queen looking? How about you roll an insight check? Just, I mean, yeah, just like, Beat up wise, really. Um, then perception. I guess it'll be the same either way. 14. She has cuts, scrapes from your attacks from earlier, but she is uh, unfazed. You know what? This guy's willing to chill. I think you need to bring it down to earth. Um, I'm going to uh, light up my sword with a thunderous smite and. Uh, here we go, here we go, I light it up. That is gonna be a... Who are you hitting? I'm going for her, just give me a sec. Is this ranged like your last attack was? Yes, so I, I can smites ride on them, that's that's the thing. But only on the only on the first one. Um, I'm going to, uh, this is the last time I can do this. Um, I'm gonna take these three lunar slashes uh, that go uh, flying upwards in this sort of X shape. Uh, towards her on the ceiling, and I use the last charges of Destiny's Blade. Um, as its glow starts to fade. Oh, it's my destiny to knock you off your high fucking horse! First one's a 15 to hit. A 15 does not hit. You should really roll physical dice, I'm telling you. Second one's a 24 to hit. Oh shit, never mind, I lied. Don't listen to me. Ever. Last one is a 28 to hit. That hits. First one is gonna do 3d8 plus from Absorb Elements, 1d6, plus from Thunderous Smite, 2d6. So she takes just 18 damage. <laughs> I rolled bad, um, but she needs to make a strength saving throw. I rolled a natural 18. No! Fucking shit. All right. Crazy rolls for for the captain here. No, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. Natural 18, I assume passes. That's all I can do. Totally fucking passes. Um, the last slash just does uh, another 14 radiant. That's what I got. So. So. Yeah. That's what I got. 32 total radiant? Yeah. Yeah, 32. You're doing damage, and she has to readjust, and she gets impacted, and she has to uh, basically catch her herself from, from slipping or, or losing her, her piercing grip inside of these walls. But as far as her face goes and her overall stature and, and, and health, she just seems... She's taking it because she knows that uh, Jay has to roll a constitution saving throw. 16 plus 4, 20. You still feel that connection? Oh, no. And then 
you feel all these slashes and you feel that pulse like your heart beats out of your chest for you but then the connection severs when you pass this in. oh thank god <laughs> oh, oh that could have been awful <laughs> fuck you spider woman next up is the captain gillian uh oh j chip all three i say nah i say yeah how would you do that <laughs> why would you why do you counter is no -uh. just the kind of person i am what kind of captain would i be if i keep letting you strike me with no repercussion <laughs> <laughs> just laugh at her <laughs> don't worry captain i've got the he looks up and he gets serious because her aura shifts and he goes silent and you see this like swirling, small, silky ball that looks like webbing start to uh, uh, form and conjure itself in front of her, 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 the five eyes on her face. And then it shoots out at you, Gillian, roll a deck save. Stop <laughs> saying that! Stop, Stop attacking that. her! <laughs> or you will be targeted! You are, you are invoking her. Natural 20. What the fuck? No fuck? fucking way. What the <laughs> no fucking way. Natural fucking 20. All right, all right. What do you do? What do you do? How do you how do you avoid this weapon? <laughs> I say that's where you're wrong. I'm not the fly. I'm what do, wait guys, what eat spiders? Uh do, dragon mantis 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 grasshoppers? Uh, <laughs> Geckos, you're a gecko, are you a gecko? I'm the gecko <laughs> and I eat it. And I eat it like a chewy marshmallow. I just she shoots this ball of webbing at me. I <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Next up a ship. <laughs> you sure you should eat that? Because like that's probably not good for your digestive system. I think my throat. I think my throat's closing up. <laughs> yeah, actually, dude. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make you roll a save because you passed another one. That's stupid. You eat it, I guess, and there's nothing. I mean, nothing most bad times you ask me how I dodge a spell, and I say I eat it. To be fair, so like... I would be totally on board with you giving consequences to swallowing things you shouldn't. I've been there. <laughs> this is not the time. I'm just <laughs> right. saying. Maybe in the future we can revisit this. Okay. Um. What? Am I weird? I'm not weird. I'm normal. <laughs> you could have like, like just step step to the side, maybe. That would involve dodging, and I never. Thanks, Gillian, for showing us what not to eat. Now let's talk about what you should. Hello Fresh! The season of fall is beginning, which means Hello Fresh has a fresh fall lineup of 40 recipes that include easy breakfasts, quick lunches, delicious dinners, and more. Let's freaking relax and look for more opportunities to take the stress out of life so that you can absorb more stress from watching these wacky episodes. Hello Fresh makes mealtime easy by delivering fresh ingredients right to your door, from the farm to your arms in less than seven days. I'm at a point in my life where I absolutely hate cooking. I get healthy Hello worked up about choosing the right ingredients, cooking meat all the way through, blah blah blah, and that's why I love HelloFresh. I made these banger taquitos that HelloFresh sent me in less than an hour because the instructions were just so concise and the measurements were already done for me. So go get yourself America's number one meal kit. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50JRWY and use code 50JRWY for 50% 50 off plus 15% off the next two months. Alright, Gillian, you seem like... You're the smartest here right now. What? <laughs> I'm gonna let you choose. Should I try and get up to her? Or try Total and bring well. her down to us? Well, I've been trying to bring her down to us, Chip, so... I almost think you should go up there to her and hey, if you fall, I think you're just gonna get back up again. I'd like to pull out my 10-foot pole. Are you gonna try to pull vault? I'd like to pole vault. Where did that come from? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> okay, this is an acrobatics check. Yes. A deviously difficult one. Yeah, pole vaulting 35 feet into the air is tough. <laughs> it is so funny that we're just having this fight and you just go hey, pole vault. I'm gonna let you try. I'm gonna let you try for sure. Okay, man. All right, all right. I'm rolling. Acrobatics. 18! Okay! <laughs> he's looking at He's got his... He's reading the, the tripod. He's reading. He's reading. He's thinking about whether to lower it and let you do this. He's putting it to his head because he, know he, he, he knows he shouldn't. <laughs> He's thinking about if he should make it easier or give you some sort of exemption here where you manage to find a way close. <laughs> Stop! Leave me alone! This is a stupid 
idea and you're a stupid <laughs> idea shut the fuck up man let me have this Chip, we don't use that kind of language here anymore sorry i just really want this to work man all right 18 is a really high roll but it wasn't enough to pass the dc so here's what i'll say i'll let you take your attacks but on this round you are gonna fall 30 feet all right that's fun what are you gonna do die yes actually i mean he can totally Go unconscious for several hours. So I'm definitely, so I'm definitely gonna fall. Definitely, if you, uh, if you, and if you go for these attacks. If you don't go for these attacks, you will basically like readjust yourself to like, like, like not f overly commit to this pole vault that is definitely going to and land properly. Yeah, and like actually safe, safe land. I'm okay if I don't safe land. Send it, brother. Um, so, what I would like to do is, uh, if you would allow me, gracious, glorious DM. Grab my grappling hook and hook on to the captain. Personally, I would never try something like this. I'm gonna say you can roll a d20 plus seven to successfully grapple. All right, d20 with plus your grappling hook. seven. Chip roll a three. Ten. Chip I falls. Fall. <laughs> well, I plummet. Falling damage isn't too bad. It's 36 and you land prone. So I, can, I'm gonna take the full 18. You take 17 points of damage. I don't, what the fuck, man? I rolled a six, six, and a five. Shit. You take 17 points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground, uh, and you are prone, chip. But that was a hell of a good try. The rolls just went in your favor. My life is a tragedy. You, tried. you still have your bonus. You still have your bonus action if there's anything you'd like to do. Um, hide. You're prone. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm crawling in the dirt. <laughs> Nothing. Let it end, man. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, Chibo. I feel like that that like Geico commercial where it's the old guy with the <laughs> with the fishing rod and he's got he's holding the dollar bill and there's that person and he he like hooks the dollar bill and he goes not so fast mm -hmm. gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Next up is Jay. Am I a gambling man? Yes. Mm hmm. We need to be at this point. Jesus. At this point, I'm praying to the one true God. Oh. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you rang. What's up, man? <laughs> Wait a sec, wait a second, I'm getting a weird vibe from this guy, Chip. <laughs> Why is Jesus using voice mod? Jay, what do you want to do? Is J you might be a gambling man, but is Jay a gambling girl? Yeah. A gambling gal. <laughs> gambling gal, yeah. Alright, what are you doing? It looks like my other two crewmates are too busy trying to swat a spider off of a roof. <laughs> so, just me and you, Garnack. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the, it's, it's gonna be uh, so sad when you die and they weren't even paying attention. Yeah, no, it is gonna be just terribly tragic. Anyways, I'm gonna shoot you now. Um, and I'm gonna call my shards. I mean, his... I'm gonna do sharpshooter, uh, which is minus five to hit, plus ten to damage. Rolling. Yes. Yes. Twenty. Yes. A twenty to hit. A twenty hits, and a dirty twenty hits. The first one hits. The second it one strikes, definitely misses. Strikes true. This second one misses. But hey, you got the first one. Then that's all I care about. I rolled a one on the goddamn d10. That's okay. There's still more damage. I rolled two twos on the other two dice. Uh, it's nineteen damage total. <laughs> Still, nineteen damage total. It, the plus ten helps a lot. I mean, that's constant at least. The Fahrenheit glows golden for a minute, shimmers as your gun fires off, and you can hear the uh, explosions of the of the chamber sort of ring out in the room. The first shot, uh, it sort of machines are fickly uh, fickle, and it sort of uh, jams for a second, and you miss that, but you're able to swirl it around and fix it just to get that second shot to pierce the room, and it leaves a pouring hole underneath his uh, his 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 clavicle How is he looking? after that gaze at the captain his demeanor has completely shifted into he needs to kill me serious yeah, mode me. it's gardak mode it's, yeah. gar it's gardak mode i'm trying to decide if i do the temp hp or not i think we're gonna get more out of it than he will because this totally is gonna fair. yeah this i'm is gonna, gonna hurt it doesn't stack so if you still have it then you know i don't chip doesn't either yeah. it 10 HP for everybody, including okay. Greg. I think that's going to matter. As per our agreement. <laughs> As per the rules of the pact. Oh, and Chip's not, I don't even think, I don't think Chip's in range. He's not within 10 feet. I just plummeted he, to the ground right next to them. You had to rush towards, uh, away from the fight with Gardak, towards um, the captain who is at the back near the throne oh, in the sack. Yeah, and Use your pole to get there. There's, yeah, I don't, I don't know think why. he's in range. Yeah, for some reason I thought we were like really close to the captain. This I do too. I thought she was right above us for some reason. Let's treat this chamber like three zones. There's the left side, which is one zone. There's the middle, which is the second. There's the right, which is the third. I imagine all of you in the middle, and the ceiling is its own zone. Cool. <laughs> cool. That makes sense. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. All right. Um, it is guard deck mode, and he doesn't say anything. 
but it gives you a much meaner look. There's no more chill deck. Oh no. Oh, no, now it's only kill deck. He just goes for a heavy hit into the gut of your armor Gillian, which is a natural one, so it like doesn't even <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I didn't even have to flex for that one, Kardak. His next two attacks are directed at Jay. That's a 25 to hit Jay. Yeah. Yeah, that does hit me. The next one was uh, 26. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that does that, that hits. Armor is not very easy to punch, it seems. I'm just in flimsy little light armor. First one is 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Second one is 14 points of bludgeoning yeah. damage. Oh. I can no longer play around with you. It is time to wrap this up. Yeah, I get the help. <laughs> Dude, you're whipped. Dude, you're so whipped. <laughs> thought you were cool, Gardak, but you're just a tool. <laughs> I really want, I, after my turn, I wanted to see how hurt Gardak was. I've mentioned it, and then I think we just moved on and didn't. Oh, yeah. How bloody, how bloody is Gardak looking? Sure. Sure. He's far better than you are right now, Jay. <laughs> I'm fucked. POV, Gillian. Gardak, how he looking? Bad? Angry? The upset? The arcane cannon is closing his wounds on that round as well. Fuck it. We ball. I'm going for Gardak. Switch and focus. I'm going to, uh, there goes some more spells. Um, I'm going to quicken spell, uh, glacial blade 14 to hit. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. You guys are just rolling really low. Oh yeah. It's, yeah, no, that doesn't it's, hit. it's bad. Well, hang on, hang on. There's a chance. Because now, when I use that, my Luxpris Pearl Shard activates, and he must make a strength saving throw. I'm sure he sucks at those. <laughs> I'm sure he's so weak. I'm sure he doesn't stand a chance against the strength saving throw. Do you even want me to tell you what it is? What again? An eight? Ten, a maybe? Two, maybe? Maybe, maybe a two. It's a 27. That's just gonna pass <laughs> <laughs> oh god we're fucked okay he just takes five cold damage using my attacks 13 to hit i rolled a fucking four natural <laughs> one doesn't do anything 16 oh 16 to hit this is rough 16 does hit 10 damage <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got rid of his shield again. Congratulations. Hooray. Hooray. I'm getting lost in like this this <laughs> overwhelming amount of pes pesticides. Uh, <laughs> I'm dude, I'm just rolling so shit today. I'm sorry. It has been it has been nonstop fumbles from me. It'll it'll come back around. Karmic retribution. What what is uh what is the total damage on this turn? Dude, like 10? I took like four attacks. Bro took 15 damage. <laughs> yeah, baller. Uh, that's my fucking turn. <laughs> yeah, there goes his temp HP. Hey, Jay, if you get the chance to get away from this guy, maybe just leave him to me and start shooting at the queen, because I, I don't know how many more of those it looks like you can take. Not a lot. <laughs> I, I just don't feel like this guy's... He, he's got a bloodlust. I feel like he just wants to kill me. Uh, I, you know, I'm the easiest one to kill right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'd get out of here. Oh, how he's going to swing. Dodge it. This six seconds goes by as you are continuing this fight. And this time to you guys, it doesn't actually seem like the captain does anything. So not a fan of that. It's your crew action. However, at first you hear this colliding of chains slamming into the ground. And you notice that both Igneous and Zamia have bested Uridi and they oh! join the fight against Gluto with Griffin, which gives him much more of an advantage. Oh, fuck yeah! Bless. They're kicking ass. That's so good. I'd like Queen to give Bardic inspiration to Gillian. It's not Bongo Blast. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's, there's so much more than Bongo Blast. Can here. we? Bongo Blast is not recharged. You can't even use no! it. No! I I secede my vote. <laughs> oh, for the for the listeners, I never even gave the context. You know how I don't even know how to explain this. I don't know how to explain. He gave it a, he gave us it? yeah he gave us a Google document with different crew actions we can use. There's like Griffin's got some, Queen's got some, and Bongo Blast is like just a shot that is called Bongo Blast that does a the sonic boom, but it's called Bongo Blast, so I think we just like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but also, the reason I keep picking it is because it, it uh, if they don't save on the strength save, they're knocked prone, which means the queen would be knocked off the ceiling, which is what I've been going for. Okay, you get a D8 as you listen to the sound of queen's music continue to rage on. It actually picks up a little bit, starting to get a bit more heavy metal as much as you can with the oboe. Um, oboe goes hard. 
you can feel the very emotion of Queen's music just from their playing. This uh, desperate urge to triumph and continue living on, but also to remember what happened to them. Good shit, Queen. It's Chip's fucking turn. I'm gonna stab Gardak twice. Fucking go for it. Okay. First one. 17, uh, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Second one. Uh, uh, 15 to hit. No. 15 doesn't hit. Whatever. All right. Um, that's gonna be 30, uh, non magical damage and 11 fire, which would total at 41. Oh, God. Does he have resistances? Yeah, but your swords are magic, right? Yeah. You only notice the fire part of the sword absorbing into his body. He's gotta be low, right? I mean, he's lower than before. Dude is a tank. You hit him with that massive slash, combined with a sneak attack of your expertise with dueling uh, as a swashbuckling rogue, and it opens up this big fucking gaping wound in his back, uh, and he looks about as on par in damage as you guys are. Okay, we like to see it. I'm moving out. I'm moving out. I'm moving. Oh shit, I totally meant to do the thing. I forgot to do the thing. Sorry, Jay. I'm taking a gamble. I'm moving out, He does have a reaction, so I'll say, natural one, you're good to go. <laughs> I duck away. He so he actually reels back from that sweat. <sighs> Didn't know you had it in you. You're dealing with us now, big boy. Me from the front and Chip from behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I stare wide eyed at Garda. <laughs> Let's see if you can handle the two of us at once. I would have moved towards the queen, so that's Chip's side of things. Is, will you allow me to be exactly 11 feet away from this guy, but Chip is still in the range, but it isn't within his range? No, I'm by Gardag now. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. Wait, what is bro saying? I'm just trying to make sure Chip gets hit by the shield, but not Gardag. They're next to each other. They're all in melee range right now. Okay, I walk 15 feet away from him, and I use it on just myself then. I just I can just shoot. Bang, bang. The fucking hot shot. 17. 17 to hit. Does that hit? What are you trying to hit? 16 to hit. Gardak, I want to kill Gardak really badly. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, baby. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. I mean, that's two sharpshooter hits, so. First shot is going to do, holy fuck, that's max damage on the Huntress Mark and the Blossom Slayer. Uh, that's 34, 37 damage on the first shot. Holy fuck. Wait, on one? On one of the shots, yeah. So the pistol. Baller. I holy fucking shit. rolled good. I got a it nine on the D10. It is time. It and is I rolled max on the D8 and D6. And yeah! the plus 10 is crazy. Yeah! <sighs> okay, second one. 21 damage. That was like fucking 50. That is the Campbell of Sharpshooter. Holy <laughs> ass, nice. How do you want to do this, Jay? <laughs> Holy fuck, really? He had 19 HP left with the second attack. God damn. And you hit 21. God damn, okay. That's really funny because if I did him with the shield, then he would have been fine. Sorry, you didn't say anything about going out of range with it. And I get down on one knee and like aim and I fire two shots in sequence. Both like. Slow mo, it's like the fucking sniper elite fucking cam where it's like right next to the fucking boy. <laughs> both of them right behind the other one. And one hits him like right in the head, and the other one hits right on top of it. And they both pierce through as he and tumbles the to the ground. shoots him through the balls, just like yeah, the sniper third one elite. Shoots him through the balls, his <laughs> testicles explode. And he only has one. Now he only has one forever, even if he respawns. He actually only had one before that. Now he has none. Now he's no balls. <laughs> Fuck it, we de ball. <laughs> Did you just. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, that's funny. <laughs> Bro is kind of crushing skulls, but he's not going to be crushing anything else. <laughs> I'm sure the captain won't mind. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine. At the end of Jay's turn, you... And... Gardak gets completely neutered. <laughs> and he falls to both of his knees. <laughs> and you hear it like a... Uh, like a squeak come out of him and it's not it's not manly it's not Gardak at all but he falls to his knees and he looks up and he's looking directly at the captain and he just kind of faintly whispers out the worst is yet to come for you just falls face first I wasn't even aiming there I missed those shots I don't think he's coming back <laughs> yeah I don't think he's ejaculating again at the same time you hear a blast coming from the left side of the chamber. As you watch the three 
uh, Zamia, Igneous, and Griffin all together, wrapping the chains from Eurydice that, that, that she was using to attack them around uh, uh, Gluto and, and just completely restraining him and, and, and taking both a, a massive slash from Igneous's giant sword and, and, and one of uh, Griffin's signature. You hear, <laughs> Inveror being cannon. Yeah! <laughs> and, <laughs> and it shoots a hole right through the tough shell of Gluto and Gluto falls. But while the violin keeps playing, Queen's music does not. Oh no. They're not falling. They just stop. And the captain takes a legendary action. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. And everyone here. Oh no. Make a charisma save. I am scared of failed charisma because that's like one no one ever says. I'm like Close enough. Am I close enough to you, Gillian? I don't know. You just moved 15 feet away. Oh, you did. Yeah. Actually, I don't think maybe Chip is, but that's it. Chip, Chip would be. I rolled a natural 19. I got a plus three. This is 22 plus four, 26. I got a 19. Your plus four wouldn't have helped me, to be fair. So I got yeah. an eight. Everyone's vision pulls back into their subconscious. And suddenly you see, you look up, all of you, as you finish your fights and the room sort of goes still for a moment, you look up and the queen grows ever so larger. Oh, fuck. And for a moment you see those red glows underneath her skin, but it quickly goes back away and switches to her eyes and she drops down from the ground. And in the next 20 or so seconds, you're getting visions of violent, thrashing, death. Corruption. Jay, you're taking some psychic damage here. Yes. And the others are taking half. As you're all suffering from this flash of violent visions of yourself and your friends being brutalized in this fight against Captain Widow, Jay, before your vision pulls back, you take 37 points of psychic ah, damage. Fuck! Shit! Fuck! Everyone else takes 18. Jay's seen better days. But this vision is interrupted as the captain loses concentration. And you all hear a slam. You're all pulled back in, into the environment, and you still see it's silent. You're still looking up at the captain whose attention has shifted to the door. And you once again hear before as the doors fucking burst open. The cavalry's here! Why should it be something worse? <laughs> it's the fucking collector. Oh, oh, that's weird. It's a 20 foot tall blood beast. That's t <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You hear, Sir Gillian, catch! <laughs> you had me in, sir! You see a star, and as soon as you look back, Zami does too, and she, her eyes go wide, and she mutter, you can hear, you can barely just hear the kind of her whisper, she says star, and then begins to rush towards her, and you see flying through the air, it's this small little vial towards you from the door, about 30, maybe 30 or so feet back, it's a long interior, Okay. and you see this little vial, oh, no. and star shouts out, I found these with their hoard of treasure, and it is the only way you will survive a fight with that woman. Say no more. I'm gonna drink it. Wait, is it like an o whatever? <laughs> oh God. Thank you, Star. I don't even <laughs> examine it to see if it's a poison or an oil <laughs> or what it could possibly be. Inside this vial, there are three marbles. Oh, one each. <laughs> do, do they look like gummies or like? Marbles. You have to catch it first. Oh, you have to catch it first. All right. Oh, you're going kind of long, Star. Um, I, I, I run. I'm going to try and catch it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> don't say next. Don't say next. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, because you said I'm going long, I want you to roll athletics. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Gillian football. Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to... Um, uh, is, does like Gortash, did he have like horns? A Gardak. Gardak, sorry, I don't know where that came from. Gortash is from- Oh, he's from Vol- <laughs> <laughs> The brain rot's real. Okay, Gar does Gardak have like Minotaur horns or something? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm gonna run at him and then full on like leap, grab the horns and leapfrog and spin around in the air. 23. Is enough to catch the vibe. Yeah, baby! It is an action to use this marble if you're gonna eat it. I look star <laughs> dead in the eyes. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I <need a> marble. <laughs> At least one of us is gonna be the sacrificial dummy. You use your action to eat the marble on your turn, Gillian. Was that new? Does that is that that's not the intended usage, is it? Gillian, you die. There's no way you were supposed to eat it, by the way. 
fine. There's just no <laughs> reality. In which okay, but like Grizzly knowingly passed it to Gillian, knowing that he eats anything that ends up in his hands. No, because because Star only knows Gillian and he doesn't know anyone else. No, I think Gilly, I think Gillian catches it and immediately like assumes just because it's a vial that like it's a potion that's gonna like make him strong enough to like explode the beast and just like chugs it back and then puts his hands on his hips and gets ready to power up you know what actually he chugs the marvel and then he just starts screaming like he's gonna power up <laughs> you bite down on the marble it breaks open like a gusher in your mouth and in an instant you feel rejuvenated and get the effects of a long rest <gasps> wait that's huge what the fuck wait a second I just ate something I was supposed to. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> that's, ne that's never happened before. He's never ate something. This has never happened. Can I use my object interaction to toss the marbles to uh, Chip and Jay, or or like like toss it to one of them or something? If you toss it, I'm making anyone roll athletics to catch it. <laughs> Dude, just hand it. Just hand it. Go just hand it. Toss Don't it do to that. Chip. Toss it immediately. It. Tossing it. Fucking nice spiral on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's who's fucking going for it on the, on their turn? Who did you throw it towards? I'm throwing it towards Chip, but I'm throwing it in a way that either of them could get it. But like, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things where it's like uncertain which of the teammates is gonna get it. Yeah, can we like have a contested athletics roll? <laughs> Show each other the way <laughs> Sure, 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 sure. Okay. But it'll have to be on the beginning of the Absolutely. round. Absolutely. Um... Now, here's the thing. Bonus action. Quicken spell. Ooh. Glacial blade. Hear my next two words. Hearing. Prophetic. No. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Stop. Think about, think about no. what you're saying. Think about what you're saying no. right now. Think about it. Think about it. Just think. Screw up. Actually, I'm all behind it. Let me show you, star, the light that will make for a brighter tomorrow. As I roll a d20 and get a 10! Yes! That's never happened before! Oh, I actually needed 11 or higher. Shit! <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh. <laughs> Cody got high, so I got high. Bro. I saw Fuck. double digits. I saw double digits. I don't suppose I could use my bardic on that, probably, right? <laughs> that would be broken. That would be busted. No, I don't think no, so. No, no. So. All right. Um, okay, no. I, I, uh, I... <laughs> fucking... What the fuck's the point, bro? Dude, you, you had me so excited. <laughs> I, I honestly thought... <laughs> this is my moment to start running towards the giant spider. Again, she's not on the ground. That was a vision. She's still on the ceiling. Unless you're doing more glacial slashes. Can you even do... Can you combine no, them? No, I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I guess it doesn't really matter. I kind of... Sorry, I thought that she was on the ground. You failed anyway, Celine. I, I just thought... <laughs> yeah. I thought she was on the ground. <laughs> Wait, she's not even... She's not even here. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Just so stupid. I literally so don't think you've ever actually succeeded on prophetic screw up. Like I cannot remember a single uh, instance. No, me no, me neither. No, I can't remember a single instance. This is probably one time. I you know when I did it? I did it on the bugs in like episode three. Oh my god, you're right. This actually <laughs> fits perfectly. Uh, you are completely left wide open and, and you have the person who attacks you next gets advantage. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, I just like attack where she is uh, and then just like sort of like trip. Uh, you uh, think the vision is real? It's not? Yeah, I just like trip on the fucking horns of the Minotaur. Just f f fly down face first. Just so <laughs> <laughs> this is the cartoon part of Riptide. Um, anyway, that's what I do. <laughs> so uh, next up is the captain. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. The vertical line in the center of her forehead flashes red once as she drops from the ceiling to the ground, like in the vision. Oh, now I get it. It was a vision. <laughs> in all my years, my foresight has never been wrong more than twice. Regardless, you will not get in between me and my love. The sack? Yeah, the sack. The sack is Dude. like rebirthing her love. Holy I think. shit. What did yeah, I, I what did I miss? Oh yes, yeah, so the Dread Queen. Dread Queen revival. She's in the sack? She's in the sack, yeah. Yerp. 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 I thought about popping it. I mean we could. We could still pop it. Just don't know if it's like smart. Well, I mean, she's gonna try and kill us. It might like distract her a little bit. No, nah, probably make her want to kill us more. Well, maybe she'll want to protect it more than kill us, you know? She could protect it by killing us. Just eyes. And the violence stops. God, this goes here. I will need your assistance from now on. You see the masks that have been circulating. This musician's head. The different emotions masquerade themed. They all begin to slowly leave 
his head and then more of this musician appears wearing different masks and you see while Zamia rushed off to greet Star as soon as that happens she has to stop and turn back around Griffin goes ah, fuck gets ready to fight again as does Ignis here we go how have I died and then come back as a zombie and it just now <laughs> got real does that feel fucked up it feels kind of fucked up Oh, no, it's been real, but we just got to keep it realer. I mean, like, it's double real because she wasn't trying. She's just hanging out. Yeah, I guess that's kind of real. That's what I'm saying. Hey, you know, not trying isn't cool anymore. Now trying is cool. So try as hard as you can to kill us. No, Wait. don't like, encourage that. Come on. like. <laughs> yeah. There's like, we, she could do other things, maybe. like Trying's back in. I don't know, maybe she could try knitting. Try knitting or crochet. They're very different. <laughs> Reflection. Repentance. God accepts all you know. Self-flagellation. People are into different things. Wasn't for me. She tried? Just like a spank. Huh. Nothing wrong with trying. Sometimes I, you know, go up on the top deck and prostrate myself at 3 a.m. <laughs> To think I gave so many. <laughs> I just can't even talk. I don't even hear like half the shit. Except for that last one. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I love this fucking fight. <laughs> to think I gave so many generous opportunities for you rookie pirates to escape. <sighs> no matter. This entertainment will suffice for the remainder of the time it takes for the queen to grow. Oh, that's like short term? I mean, like now? Right now? Like right now now? Like she's about to get birthed? Damn, I thought she'd need like more. I don't see a hole. Are we going C-section? Well, what can I say, team? We put on a pretty good improv show before, but... There's no guarantee we'll nail the delivery. <laughs> I look at the, uh, I look at the <laughs> As if I'm going to give it a divine okay. abortion. Yep. She can kill us now. It's all fun and games till I imprint on her. Jesus. <laughs> Actually, you know what? After that, man, I'm not talking as her anymore. She's just going to dash forward and the first person in front of her i think she fell i i went i was like right below her like she fell on me so i'd just be there yeah i think you would be there yeah sure uh when she drops down she'll be going for a spider leg attack to actually impale you on her way down so that'll roll that pretty sure she gets advantage on gillian yeah she does she does, she does. She does. that's she does. good to know and i don't have haste anymore so no 25 unfortunately that's a 28 to hit 28 is gonna you hit in every world yeah 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 you take seven points of piercing damage and 17 points of necrotic damage she's gonna walk past you jay's next do i get a uh a little opportunity attack i'm prone so probably a disadvantage i can't believe that imprinting on her baby was the final <laughs> so fair the final we've, we've come full circle you nicknamed my lover after the loch ness monster <laughs> no, let's get messy out of there you have you have disadvantage it doesn't say you can't take okay. them um i'll give it a shot yeah. with disadvantage might as well let's see the money here we go those those bad rolls it's time to come around it's all good rolls here it's all good rolls here 16 and 12 that's gonna be a 21 with disadvantage that's a good that's a good hit yeah. that's a good hit 13 Whoa. slashing as I Woo. stab into her Theorax, and now her <laughs> speed is reduced to zero. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> Sentinel. Sentinel. What does it look like that causes Sentinel to make her stop moving? Honestly, I think what it is, is I just um, fucking, uh, uh, like, grab onto the, you know, like a rock or something or like wrap my body around it and just absolutely stab into her body like down to the hilt so she just cannot move. Uh, and I just fucking hold her there flexing like Captain America. She stops and just by proximity, another spider leg goes to stab into you. Natural 20. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. It's gonna be a little scary. How much HP are you at, by the way? A hundred. That necrotic damage you took last turn reduces your hit point maximum the same amount. 17 necrotic, yeah. I'm worried about this hit. Take 19 points of piercing damage and 40 points of necrotic damage. Fuck! Holy shit! You sentinel her. You sentinel her. Oh she my said, 
god. I mean, Chip, do you really need that longer? <laughs> Can I have another bead? <laughs> Wait, it's flying through the air. So yeah, you have to give two of them. Oh yeah, it's flying through the air. I mean, I guess Chip got that. Dude, don't take this from me. I just went from 124 out of 124 to 40 out of 60. Oh, wow. Just so you know. Yeah, so when I say it, I'm not saying it as like, that would be cool. I'm saying it as like, I'm dead. Last thing she does, because she can't move. She will roll a disadvantage with this. But she holds her hand out and you feel this dreadful arcane magic that you have never experienced before. It's not necrotic, it's something else. It reminds you of the black ichor of the very sea. Who's she doing it on? To, um, I'm whoever's next in line, it's either Jay or Chip. Okay. And her sight, line of sight. So it'd be me. So it's Jay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I moved 15 feet towards her and Chip was next to okay. Bardic. Okay, luckily a little very low. It's only a 13 to hit. Does not hit. So this blast, she almost kind of reels from the pain of Gillian's sword in her body and she can't focus it. And then she just stops. You will all die here as I have foreseen. And you won't see the world we create as it is wrapped in our web. That ends the captain's turn. It is now your crew action. They immediately get into this uh, battle with the six Josiahs. Full name, Josiah's Chop and Bach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like that. Chip and Jay, just for free, both of you go ahead and roll that athletics as well to see who catches yeah, the wild. Yeah, that's fucking C. If any of you. Because you could fail. We could fail horribly. I just missed terribly. 13. If we lose these long rests because you threw it, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Dude, listen. I'm who I am. 13 is really close. Trying to think of how to. You could let us. Uh, we were gonna do it on Bane. You could let us use the crew action instead on Bardic uh, for right. this. I love that. If you want to add a D8, Chip. Yeah, that gives me plus three. So that's sixteen. All right, you catch it. But you have in your hand. It's an action to eat it. Jay's also fucked up. <laughs> Jay can come get this one from me. I'm gonna hang on to this one and and I'll probably save it for a minute. That's fair. Yeah, I'm gonna stab the shit out of it. <laughs> you rush up. I rush up. Take your attacks. Roll to hit. Seventeen. That misses. Yeah. All right, so I don't do much. So you missed your attacks. Yeah, and to be able to turn. You're still right next to the captain, yes? Fuck no, baby. You have to You have to hit the use fancy footwork? Just take an attack. I just take an attack. Jay, it's your turn. Okay, Um, I guess I'm going to go to Chip and grab one of those marbles and pop it. All right, that's your action. Take your long rest. God bless. Is there any reason you my Eldritch re Cannon would disappear when I <laughs> long uh, rest? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have to re if Gillian has to recast haste, you have to redo yourself too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do I have any? Yeah, fuck it. We hunters mark her since that would also go away. I don't know. In heart, hunters mark sound. Yeah, I mean, in maybe more like a tree, <laughs> <laughs> like a hawk. You know, like <laughs> swing up oh, high. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you got it. And that's that happens. That's my turn. Next up is Gillian. Oh, fuck. Y'all good, man? Yeah, Gillian, you good? Uh, yeah, yeah, all, all good, all good. So, like, peels himself off the ground. He's fucking, like, veins are blo uh, bulging with this greenish-black necrotic energy. He's looking so bad. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to quicken spell at fifth level. Armor of Agathis. So I give myself 25 temporary HP. I'm going to use Helping Hands. Uh, on Jay. Jay also gains 25 temporary HP. Ooh! If she hits either of us during this, she takes damage too, so just, yeah, I guess just get back to me when that happens. I think she's resistant to it anyway. Um, and then I use my action, and I'm gonna take some swings on her from below her. Swing, swing, swing. Here we go. I'm just attacking. I'm just attacking. I'm just attacking. 17 to hit. 17, unfortunately, does not hit. Fuck. Fuck, she's strong. 26 to hit. 26 hits. Catch me with that smite. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, catch me with that smite. Yeah, I was saving it for a crit. Not today, not today, not today. Um, That is going to be... Do it at fourth level. Uh, 30 damage. Nice. 30 nice. damage. Nice. Wow. And uh, yeah, I'll end my turn right there and uh, just start coughing up ooze. Next up is... Uh, Captain Widow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How much will it take to break your spirits? One billion. What? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, end of sentence. What? Um. <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> you, gotta, you have to kill him, you have to kill him for that. One of her attacks goes to Gillian I'm right dead. after I'm that. I'm dead, I'm fucking dead, motherfucker. Oh, fucking uh, 22 to hit. 22 Doesn't to hit, right? Just gonna miss! Oh! Just gonna miss, let's go. Oh, thank god. What makes you fight? One billion. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's like so injured. She grabs your face, Gillian. This is how you tank, guys. You just <laughs> say shit. You just say shit piss them off. 20, 20, 24 to hit. Uh, shield. She, uh, retaliates and tries to dig these sharp, blackened claws into your skull, but this, uh, this magical, uh, arcane shield blocks her, and then she regains composure very quickly like that, no emotion on her face. Pet, you're feeling pretty stupid now for eating his heart, aren't you? You've only made him stronger, and us stronger by proxy, because we're now we have to save him. Yeah. Once again, she begins to conjure that wretched magic in the air. Oh. It's going to be a 27 to hit J. Ah! At a range. Uh, yeah, I use shield at 15th level. It's that easy. Yeah, it's just that easy. No, it hits. It hits me. It hurts me. It hurts me so bad. I'm I die. I hurt. Does our move I get this go off on this? Uh, if it does damage. It does damage. Uh, make a charisma saving throw as well. Oh, thank God. 16. It's like the best, like one of the best things I can roll. Come on. You rolled a 14 plus two. Unfortunately, that is not safe. It's been a spell, fellas. Yeah, this is gonna. This hurts. Uh, it hurt last time. It's gonna hurt this time. Whoa! I rolled hella good. Which is not, which is, which is not great. Yeah, it's like not um, good that you said that. Good day to have 25 temp. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. You take 38 points of necrotic damage, ah! and you gain a point of corruption. Ah, oh, fuck! Dude, I am so fucking corrupted. You don't have four points of corruption. Yeah, yeah. Out of how many? Uh, 12. Before I die, wow. before I croak it, before I croak it. So I'm a third of the way there. You know, that's scary. That's terrifying. <sighs> you got it. You got to eat one of those beans, bro. She already did. Oh, you already did? Okay, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, no, that's not the worry. It's the corruption that's the worry that I'm... You yeah, know, the worry, um, that's, a, that's a worry for sure. Yeah, and, and, like, I don't know if we can do anything about that, can we? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna say that's the end of her turn. Thank God. Cool. <laughs> Next up is your crew action. As they are... You hear, you hear the sounds of different instruments sort of making these uh, abrupt musical notes as these... Eh, fucking... It's like six different bards attacking your crew members um, with their... With this... this uh, Incredibly powerful magic. Um, that's all happening in the background. But if you want to make one of them do something to aid you, what do they do? Do you guys want to do Bane? Okay, we either do Bane or we have Griffin do a multi attack. I don't think he's gonna hit. Yeah, you got a plus six. I mean, like, I mean, she's hard to hit. Yeah, uh, she doesn't look very charismatic. She's actually very like scary. She's a yeah, that's kind like of weird. I mean, I guess we could find out. Yeah, let, I say Ben. Let's not make assumptions of her stats. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, I was gonna say, let's find out. I mean, like, if she was public speaking right now, I think people would run in fear, and that should be indicative of her. She pulled a, a, a fucking pirate lord. That's That actually is true. Maybe she, like, got to know her, and she had a good personality, but, like, she's not... <laughs> she convinced eight, seven people to give them her heart. Wait, <laughs> do we have Bongo Blast? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, let me roll for it. This is the most, the, the least you optimal move with the you, funniest name. Fuck! All right, I say Bane. He actually recharges in fraud. We got it. Yes. So fraud. you have, you have in fraud, yeah. I'm in fraud. I'm in fraud. I'm team in fraud. Bam, done. I've made my choice. I'm in fraud. Yeah, in fraud, in fraud, in fraud. Stun to siege. Griffin in fraud, laser beam, and cannon! Oh, fuck, I love this. <laughs> In fraud laser beam. It's <laughs> like losing the voice trying to shout this Griffin. It's my favorite. I just like saying it. In fraud laser beam cannon. She rolled a natural 19. No! No! Does this, she take half at least? This dice is killing it tonight. She takes half damage. She just doesn't get stunned. 26 half is 13. 13 points of, of laser damage. Good in fraud. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's big. That's big. Top of the round is chip. Is it gilly time? Yes or no? I can do oh, Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to hold an action to pop a bead in Gillian's mouth after he finishes his turn, after he does a thing. Yeah, you can You can do that. Next up is Jay. Dude, do I want to be a fucking dick? Yeah. I mean, like, yes. I mean, to she'll this, kill me. This. She'll kill me, right? If I, like, pop the sack, probably. Oh, I forgot about the sack, and I was like, what are you talking about? You're gonna pop your sack? I've already popped one sack, I mean... <laughs> you did already neuter a, a Minotaur from hell, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what's it's only... it, Dude, what's another sack? It's just that, but bigger. What's another sack? Power word testicular torsion. <laughs> you can add popper of sacks. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe she'll get distraught. 
<laughs> Maybe she'll kill me. Who knows? I'm gonna get very far away from this woman. Since I've used the long rest, that means I can reuse my captain's ring. Would, would this count as a structure? This pod? You're focusing your aim onto the sack. Before you take your action, use the captain's ring, make an arcana check. Okay. 12. Not great. You second guess yourself. Just the second as there's something you're not getting with the sack. You just don't know enough, but something's off. If I'm second guessing myself, then I don't think I should do it. I lied. I don't want to do the captain's ring because it also affects everybody within 15 feet of the target. I'm just going to shoot her with a pistol. Oh, I'll totally be there. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be instantly obliterated in the blast. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Really bad. Okay, you're just going to shoot the captain. Got it. Good thing you caught that. <laughs> I'm not reading your sheets right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do first shot is a normal shot, and because I'm a gambling man, I'm going to say second shot is a sharp shooter shot and pray. First shot is a 12. Second shot is a 19. 19 hits. That's a sharp shooter one. Nice, 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 nice. I nice. called it. You heard me. <laughs> Guys, it's time to pop off and then maybe pop sack. I don't know. <laughs> maybe both. I don't know if we're popping sack. Feeling weird about the sack. Uh, So it's going to be 13, 23 total. 23 damage total on Captain Widow. Got it. Bonus action. Don't got nothing. We're good. All right. That ends your turn. The captain will take a legendary action. Uh, Chip and Jay are not nearby, right? So she's going to take a stab at Gillian on the... It's your boy. You can see for a moment she goes, and then for a second, the red eye in the center of her forehead flashes, and her course corrects, and she rolls a 27 to hit. We're gonna let it hit. Why? <laughs> Why did you know exactly? Why? This attack is going to be 11 points of piercing damage. Okay. 24 points of necrotic damage. Fucking shit. Okay. She takes 25 cold damage. Man, yeah, I'm look Gillian's looking bad. She really took you from 100 to zero. <laughs> that all you got? <laughs> In battle, it is the strongest who should always fall first. She says to you, Gillian, with cold, coldness. But that's not actually true because I think you're gonna be. Wait, hang on. Wait, so the str wait, so the strongest should fall. But if you, but if I say you'll fall first, then you're the Huh. She's got me in a trap! Help! I don't understand how to break free! <laughs> You're in a loop? No! You've been caught in my web! I don't know what to say to her! Yeah, it seems that she's resistant to cold damage. Yeah, I got that vibe. Then I gotta go nuclear. By the way, <laughs> I don't want to hurl and and chance it. Hey, it I want it to... was just an expression, Okay, bro. I'm I just gotcha. making... Look, I'm just making sure. I'm not chancing it. I'm walking up and <laughs> gently putting it in his fucking mouth. And then massaging it down the throat. It works. You no, know, you can't even take any risks on swallowing today. Okay, it is time for maximum damage. I am going to do what I do best and quicken spell Glacial Blade. 17 to hit. 17 does not hit her. Fuck. Next attack, 23 to hit. 23 hits her. Next attack, 24 to hit. 24 hits her. Okay, I am going to be smiting on both of these. Okay, that plus that, 58 damage. Whoa! 58 oh damage. Bah, 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 bah. That was my bonus action and my action. If we wanted to get really quirky with it, we could wait another turn, but do I feel like gambling? Do you feel like gambling? Do you have another thing that could go crazy? Because I'm not, I used my turn for this. I could be doing damage. Okay, then you should Then you should pop it in. Yeah, you should just go for it. If you use your turn, for, yeah, 100%, 100%, 100%. I do it. All right, the last marble of restoration gets put in Gillian's mouth. That legendary magic item is gone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's legendary. But... We need it. We fucking need it. <laughs> you get the effects of a long rest. Anything that you're concentrating on resets. Blah 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 blah. I really wanted to pocket that thing and keep it, dude. I know, but she she was gonna straight up obliterate me. So and I have and I have to be here to bring you back, or we're fucked. That is a problem. Yeah. You see as her spider legs sort of, sort of uh, narrow and rise her up a little higher, and she just sort of tilts her head up once again, that uh, her skin becomes more translucent, and with in tandem with the sack behind her, the heart inside of Captain Widow's body, doom, 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 and you see the gaping wounds that you've just slashed into her begin to 
close themselves together. Sheesh. Well, that's bad. You're, you're cheating? You can't heal, you're cheating. Stop cheating. So once again, this sort of flash of red throughout the room and everybody make a charisma save as you are bombarded by the worst visions of the future. Fuck me. I only got a 14. I'm going to use oh, shit. I'm going to use favored by the gods to add 2d4. I got a 21. I got a 7 add 4 11. I got a 6. Yeah, I don't even think a plus 4 would help you. If you take full damage, killing you'll take half. Yeah. The two of you, J chip. Yoinks. So Jay, why can't we pop the giant pulsating heal sack again? I don't know. I just need to look at it closer. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, I don't know if it's yeah, worth yeah, it, though. Okay, okay, okay. Full damage is 27 psychic damage. Oh, that's actually not... Chip and Jay, you are frightened. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Forgot to mention that to Jay the first time she failed. Do we get a crew action, I wanted to ask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get you get a crew action. I'm going to vote that we have Griffin do a multi-attack and aim at the hearts. Yeah, I agree with, I agree with multi-attack. Let's, Let's go yeah, for the hearts. Fuck it. hearts. Fuck it. You want, okay, you want Griffin to go specifically for the hearts and multi-attack. Yes. I'd like to roll one of them. Griffin, let those hearts have it. Griffin needs to roll a perception as the hearts are not visible. He rolls a 19, which means that he does not hit disadvantage. So he is going to hit a heart or two of them. He'll hit two hearts. Yeah, if he roll the hit. Okay. If he hits, roll the hit first. I'm I'm rolling one. I'm going to roll the flat d20. Do you want one, Charlie, or should I take it? I, I haven't rolled for crew yet. I'll take crew. Okay. Okay. That's 12. Plus six. 18. And 18 does not hit. Mine's a natural 20. <laughs> natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> natural 20. Definitely hits. Charlie, roll a d8. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Eight. Um, should I roll damage? Roll damage. You have it on the sheet, right? Yeah. 1d12 plus six crit. That is going to be 13 damage on heart number number eight. Eight. Which is hopefully not chips. You, forget, you see Griffin gets the order. Aye, aye, Captain. And then... Reels it over, swir or not swirls, but uh, rotates, spins his fucking revolver arm, and then it lands and <laughs> you hear the blast, uh, like cannon fire, shoot towards the captain as she just barely sort of her, her head her head cracks towards it and the flash of her, her vertical eye isn't fast enough for the second attack where she does miss the first one, uh, uh, but the second one strikes true through her, 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 her almost like where the, uh, the liver is or the kidney in a normal person's body. This gaping hole. <laughs> burst out the Holy viscera shit. of her body explodes outward and she takes more than 13 she takes uh you crit and then it crits again for hitting a heart so she takes 26 points of damage oh. and you watch as gardak melts in the room oh, oh my god oh, oh goodbye gardak okay he's, he's gone to the special farm oh uh, he just <laughs> melted that guy just melted uh wait chip if we hit your heart, does that mean I don't, okay, don't want to get melted? <laughs> I don't want to get melted either. Don't melt me. None None of you melt me. None of you motherfuckers melt me. Chip, can you make what? your heart like beat faster or something? No. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Okay, yeah, we need to know which one is yours. Can you like slow your heart rate or, or get nervous? I'm not or... a monk. I'm not a monk. Can you I'm a pirate. For a moment, you see, as you strike one of the hearts and it explodes out of her body, uh, her skin is a slightly more translucent again. You do see the hearts moving around inside. Can I see mine? You don't know which one's yours. That's the that's the gamble. What? You've been with it your whole life. You you know. <laughs> yeah, come on. Which one has like I don't know, the chip smoke? <laughs> which which one which one is blackened by sin? <laughs> that's a correction. Top and around is chip. You just watched what happened when a heart inside of her exploded. She took tons of fucking damage, more than she would normally, but one of the people that were connected is gone forever. Uh, there is no more guard act. One in seven chance, Chip. How do you like the mods? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two attacks with disadvantage. I'm gonna do them on the hearts. Okay, first of all, roll perception before you make your attacks. Dirty twenty. Um, but all right. Um, so I'm gonna roll this first one at disadvantage. Seventeen. Seventeen, unfortunately, misses, or it just doesn't pierce her enough. No, 15. All right, well, that's my attack. I'm going to fancy footwork away and try and find some elevation. Next up is Jay. Oh, she's got those special eyes. She's got uh, this. Well, yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to do that this turn or not. 
Can you re revivify Goo? I don't know. <laughs> you cannot revivify Goo. <laughs> okay, well, like, maybe he was... God, maybe he became Goo because he was like that for a long time. Um, I'm gonna look at the sack. Keep making assumptions and see where it gets you. I just don't want Chip to be Goo. I don't want to go for the hearts. I'm sorry. Me neither. How close is the captain to the sack? He's in front of the throne, halfway from the sack, halfway from the door. We'll say, like, center zone, center of the room. Maybe it's slightly more... Like, slightly closer to the sack, but, like, not by... Like, maybe it's, like, a few feet. Shit. She's not right Fuck. next to it, but she is... I want to... I so badly want to use Detect Magic in the area between her and the sack, but I don't even think I can get to the sack where I walk, actually well, want Detect Magic to work. What's the range with Detect Magic? 30 feet concentrated on myself, though. We'll see. On this turn, you can't move closer because she's in front of it. Like, you know, she's that, that direction. Unfortunately, you moved away. Detect Magic is concentration, so I'm going to use and it will stay up through my next turns. Okay, um, but Hunter's Mark will drop. That's fine. I can deal with it. All right. I crave information. I crave information, Grizzly. So, yeah, sure, man. Uh, she is within 30 feet of me. Yeah. So, so if there's any magic, little stuff happening with her, I guess you can just tell me. <laughs> she's all very magical. I mean, she doesn't actually cast magic, but she has magic in her. She's mastered a magic. Even in, in, in trying to just connect to the weave of the arcane, you don't know what the fuck this woman is. What magic is she using? You've you can't detect it. You can't detect the school. You don't know the type. Some shit's fucked you. Yeah, it's so it's so it's so corrupted. This will pay off next turn when I'm not frightened anymore. I hope. Captain is going to attempt as soon as Gardak goes invisible. She takes. She's going to attempt a, a a a cost of three legendary actions, and as soon as she takes that blast, and she almost like for the first time winces. There's pain on her face. So, you have finally discovered the gamble of your only survival condition. Perhaps you are more than I originally thought. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll as she begins. Do you feel that boom like she grabs these soul strings? She's going to make a check that is very high. As you see, the bodies of her fallen crew members begin to rise. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. So close. <laughs> so close in a good way or a bad way? In a good way for you. In a good way for you. So, okay. They all fall <gasps> as she's taken too much to finish this rapid ritual. <sighs> we gotta hit the hearts, right? And I think we have to hit them as hard as we can now before they narrow down, right? Because that's... I think that's what I gotta do. I'm going for a heart. I'm right under her. I look, I open my special eyes and I look for a heart and I roll perception, right? Yeah, perception will um, remove disadvantage if you pass the check. Five. <laughs> if we're going for a heart specifically, you have disadvantage. Well, I don't think it's gonna matter. Oh my God. Because the sword <laughs> begins to light up. As I have taken a long rest. Not again. And my hair <laughs> begins again. to glow. And it begins to glow. And I go and I strike true with all of my might. A one in seven chance to end this fight or to lose my best friend forever. And I roll it. It's another ten. Oh my fucking god! I don't get it. <laughs> I'm cursed! <laughs> you have like the most busted ability in the fucking game, and it has never worked out for you once. I'll give you inspiration to re-roll that one. Can I be totally honest with you guys? I'm not celebrating until I see above an okay, 11, because... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Should I roll physical and, and put the camera on it? Roll it physical, please, for the love of fucking god. I'm actually scared. Like to roll in. I know. Okay. I know. All right. I'm, gonna I'm picking up the camera. Okay, ready? Yeah. You got this POV? I got it. Right Watch on the sheet. Is this the die? Is this the die? Yeah, I like that one. It looks good. <sighs> no fucking shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's an 11, baby. Oh my God. On the dark. What the fuck? Oh my god, what it never happens. Fuck? It never happens. It's an it's auto it finally manic happens. critical that hit. That <laughs> okay, I'm not celebrating until Chip doesn't melt into. Dude, it's gonna goop. melt me. <laughs> it's gonna melt me. Thank you, great god above. God doesn't give without taking. 
God does not give without taking. I didn't I didn't deserve that inspiration in any world, but I appreciate you giving it to me. You don't deserve inspiration for literally uh, risking killing Chip? Yeah, I, I'd say you do. It's a pretty big risk. Okay. Do I have to roll a d7? What's the fucking deal? Do a d8 again, and if it's a, yeah, if it's an 8, re-roll. 7. Roll damage. He didn't say that's good. <laughs> he didn't say anything. <laughs> he didn't say anything at all. <laughs> he just said okay. What does that mean? <laughs> Here we go. This is gonna... Let's see the damage. This is gonna double again. So... It's funny because I had a really good idea, actually, to try to identify Chip's heart, but... <laughs> I'm so glad you said that just now, Condi. Oh, I can't do it until my turn, so... I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. Are you smiting, too? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, shit, is this an undead? I'll say so. <laughs> 12d8. <laughs> what was the prophetic hero effect? Oh, I didn't even roll that. Is that 75 damage? Okay. That's 75 damage. 75 damage, and I, the first time ever I get to use this... <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen this roll. All creatures of my choice within 30 feet all get healed for 44 plus 4. Oh, that's nice. So that's cool. So everyone go ahead and heal 44 plus 4. So I heal back to full. And we all um, pray to God, because I think doubled, that will do about 140 damage to her. 150, 75, doubled, yeah. And if this is Chip's heart, I'm going to... <laughs> You're going to explode him. He's going to uh, implode I'm going into to a press escape. nuclear bay. Uh, I'm actually going to reload the save, and we're going to need to play <laughs> it from level one again, because... <laughs> no, we forgot to say. <laughs> it wouldn't be number seven, would it? First off, how do you want to do this? Oh god, it's so- this is so fucking bittersweet because I'm so nervous. I'm so scared. I'm scared and terrified. I thrust into her, uh, and there's this ex- <laughs> <laughs> You just- you just fucking cut the tension into like in half. There's- there's none left. There's none left. <laughs> Effortlessly, bro. <laughs> She's in love with someone else. Um, yeah. Uh, my, my, uh, wow. Okay. In uh, front of her wife, bro. Whatever. Um, I thrust into her in front of her wife and she explodes. Um, I, I thrust in and I, I fully lift her off the fucking ground, um, with Destiny's Blade and say, Guess that makes the third vision. And you know what makes us able to fight? It's our friends and hoping that they don't <laughs> watch them. Uh, and, the, and the sword just like fucking explodes out into this holy light uh, as I just swing it around and around over my head and then let, uh, basically let go uh, and uh, fucking fling her through a stone wall and out of the palace. Uh, Wait, but we need the heart. But no! Oh, <laughs> hey, you want to try that again, Charlie? You want to try that description again? Okay, okay, okay. All right. And I, I swing her around. Just into a wall. Dude, into a wall. Okay, okay. I swing her around and around and around and I go and I go to throw her at the sack. You're going to throw her at the sack? Is that also bad? She, she's large, but I don't even think you can throw her that far, okay? I'm just gonna be real with you. Whatever, whatever. I just fucking woo, throw her, yeah. I say she crashes into uh, into the throne and, and it shatters, but um, as soon as you impale through her chest with all of your prophetic divinity, <laughs> beating fate itself, severing that thread that she supposedly had so much control over. She grabs the edges of your sword and the black ooze mixed with the slightly uh, purplish uh, tint to her blood drips down it onto your hands and onto your, your armor and uh, all of the, the eye in the center and the one that was opening her abdomen are, are flashing and she just grabs it and she looks absolutely distraught just from the, the, the expression on her face as, as she is going to go unconscious with this move uh, or, or, or dead. Um, and Use your foresight. What happens next? <coughs> the Dread Queen will return <coughs> and I will and her side. And you toss her to the side and she crashes through the throne and the corpse of the sorceress bubbles up and oh, disappears. Thank God. Holy shit. 
Is Chip okay? What's what's happening to him? Yeah, what happens to Chip? He's still very much pale, like a like a, like a zombie, but he's still up. So long as his heart is inside of her, and at that moment, that musician that was in battle with your crew, they all pull through, and at the very end, Queen, with uh, more heavy emotion than you've ever seen before smacks the, them with the, the fucking elbow and they go flying and they <laughs> smash against the wall and flatten and queen says you're flat <laughs> yeah I, I don't i don't need to write i don't need to write i don't need to do this dialogue because they, they, connie plays it for me that's yeah, no exactly problem. what happens <laughs> no you're flat it just, it just had to happen i'm sorry it just, it can't i get it queen no like i get that. it yeah it was like scratching at your brain had to come out yeah, I, yeah. I get it. <laughs> and combat is over for everybody. Okay, um, I'm not sure how this works. I've never done this before. You're not goo for now, but you might be goo. We need to do this heart thing ASAP stat pronto. We need a doctor. We don't have one. I'm a doctor now. I run <laughs> I, over. No, I don't. Are you sure? Uh, uh, Chip, Chip, get over here. We gotta go fast. I don't know where, I don't know where we have. All right, you, so you, you've done like open heart surgeries before? Ah! Yeah, I'm taking some hearts out. Um, I, uh, I, I, I reach into her body. I pull out one heart. How does that feel? You ripped out a heart from her, okay? Roll a D8. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? What if I goo? <laughs> well, no, you won't goo. I got... Oh, what if you goo? What if you goo when you pull the heart out? Dude, what if I goo? Wait, no, why would you goo? You're not gonna goo. Well, did you roll it? No. Can you go Three? back on it? Three? You rip out a heart from her body as she lies there seemingly dead, though you gather with how her, her corrupted magic has been. She's not actually dead. You rip out three. Nobody in this room melts, but the heart falls into liquid black. Oh, well, should I not rip out hearts? Is that, am I the bad guy? No, no, that could have been me. That could have been me. Stop ripping out the hearts. <laughs> that could have been Chip. That, could, that was so unnecessary. Well, well I, I was going to put it back in. Okay, okay, no, no, shh, shh. Let's calm down. Let's take it down. Let's take it down. Just like 10, 10 steps. 10, breathe in. <sighs> I can't. It doesn't work. It doesn't breathe. It doesn't breathe anymore. I don't breathe. Oh, I don't fuck. breathe. Oh, why don't I breathe? Oh my God, I don't have a heart. I'm going to die. I'm going to be goo. Do you want to just stay like this? Is that the safest oh, way? I don't want to be goo. No. Okay, one of these hearts has to be Chip's heart. It's not smart because like she's going to come back. We had to kill her. So I'm going to look at the sack and maybe we can do something with the sack. Okay, look at the sack. I I'm guess I'll just the sack. watch these hearts and think about ripping them out and putting I them back in Chip and not doing magic. that. Yeah, don't rip them out. Do not touch the hearts. Don't okay. even touch Chip unless you're casting Revivify. I'd like to approach Star. After things silent, there's no clashings uh, of metal in combat. Star with Green, the Tabaxi, and, and um, Mary, the Satyr, kind of just walk around the corner. And as soon as she does, shows her face. Zamia's hammer falls to the ground as she sprints over and then just uh, uh, grasps up Star into a, a hug that lifts her off the ground. Um, and they both start to weep. Uh, and you and you start to approach in this moment. What, what are you doing? Not the time. Never mind. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. You can. I mean, if you, I'm gonna let them have a moment. Um, okay. As uh, you can. Uh, there are other two there. There's this golden robe tattered to Baxi as well. If you wanna, if you're looking for help from an outside perspective, who looks the most healy? The star radiates this warm golden glow around her so much so that when she burst it open those doors, it was like the gates of heaven opened up and, and, and blew away the darkness inside this interior. Maybe I'll just wait a minute and then I'll go up. To okay. Stuff. What are you guys doing? What, what else are you guys doing? You hinted me onto the fucking sack and I want to I wanna figure out what the shit's about. Yeah, I really want to know. I want to inspect that sack. Really invested in sack. Any, any lumps? Roll uh, an arcana check as you get closer to okay, it. Okay, does my detect magic help at all with that? I don't think, I don't know if detect magic should give advantage on arcana checks, but... Uh, Fuck my life. It's Ten. Uh, Flash of genius. Fourteen. Fuck it. It's better than the last one. It's very difficult to discern what has constructed and how this uh, sack, this, this red sack even exists. It's, it's well beyond your knowledge of, of the arcane or, or anything similar. Um, but as you get closer, it's glossy and reflective and you start to see your uh, reflection until a reflection that isn't your own reproaches with you. And you're staring at a hooded figure with these glowing green orbs in the silhouette underneath the hood. And 
it backs up as soon as you see it into the sand. Glowing green orb. Put it like their eyes. Yeah. We actually gonna do a C section, guys. I'm down. I'm gonna regroup with Gillian. I think for now. Before I make any decisions. These people are gonna come back if we don't deal with these hearts, Jay. We had I saw it down in the in the prison. Yeah. They're gonna start stitching themselves together, and I don't think we have that much time. Well, there's more of a problem. We can tell that she's not dead. You uh from experience you can gather that She's gonna come back. Yeah. Basic 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 math. She had she had eight hearts in her and then the hers is not one of them. Yeah, where's she at? It's, she's not dead dead. She's not dead dead, and we need to know what heart is which. How 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 do we do that? Maybe there's something more to this room or or the pot or something. I'm just gonna missing. I'm gonna poke one, I think. Poke poke a heart? I'm gonna yeah. go up to Gillian and say, please do not fucking do that. <laughs> Dude, no, no, no! I just all right. Listen, stop poking hearts. Stop touching them. Like, are you insane? It's one of those is mine, and you just turned one to goo. Well, I know, but if I poke your heart, you're gonna feel it, right? No, no, it's not even connected to his nervous system. It's like basic biology. Okay, well, their hearts gooed. Do we think your hearts will goo too? Wait a second. We can actually find this out. Um, I pull out Destiny's blade. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use um. Holy shit. I'm going to use the Luxurious Pearl Shard. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to cast Augury. Um, I don't. <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> shit. I look into the shard and I say, Oh, great gods of the undersea, will my friend's chip's heart turn to goo if I poke or grab it? It is I, your chosen hero. What that heart do? We're just gonna throw ideas at this until we get it. <laughs> yeah, dude, because this is like fucking. The thing is, if it doesn't goo when we pull it out, that I've got it, right? Like I, we put it the heart back in, we revivify him, it's all good. But if it goos, we screws. What if we like? I don't know. We could waste like a hundred diamond pieces, gold worth, and try to revivify now. Maybe his heart will just like zoom out of it and like those head parts. Parts don't come back. Your um subconscious it feels like only one of your eyes is pulled into uh the the, the black sand oasis this is desert. so disorienting <laughs> it's it's very like mental you're not actually losing any vision and stuff with this shard um and in the sand you feel it right right well for bad results okay so looking like the heart is gonna go to goo town okay if we if we grab it. Well, I know how to... Uh, maybe we can figure out how to grab every heart except for chips. So then they don't come back. Cause, like, yeah, but if she dies, does the whole thing stop? No, I don't... Maybe. I don't, I don't know how any of That's this That's the works. thing is, if we break hers, does... Does that mean that... Well, that's just like... I have this compass. <laughs> it can cast... Locate object. Chip's heart is an object. Oh my gods. <laughs> That's genius. So we yeah. can figure out which one isn't his. Okay. And fucking send it. Take fucking it out. send it. But we don't have too much time. <laughs> fucking send it. Okay. Just to clarify, woe for bad results when taking it out. Got that. Yeah. So I'm trying yeah. to not grab Chip's heart. <laughs> He's trying to grab everyone but mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, so like I want to figure out which one Chip's is and then take them out. That should totally work. I'm very familiar with this object. I've seen it up close within 30 feet when it got <laughs> ripped out from him. I have I have expertise in perception. There's no way I didn't see that shit. I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> it's a detection spell. This is what it's made for. You you get a a a a, a ping that and you get a sense that it's moving throughout her her body constantly, even with the holes. It just moves around it, huh. like her circulatory system is inhuman. It's bizarre, it, like a fucking spider. Yeah. Can we just know for prosperity's sake which number on the die Chip's heart was? One. That makes okay, sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna shove my hand in there and try to grab one that isn't Chip's because I can kind of sense which one is his. Uh, shoving your hand inside skin is impossible. It just, okay. You're just gonna have to use your dagger and stuff to start cutting okay. shit open. We just, we, yeah, we just fucking absolutely stab the shit out of every heart. <laughs> here's the thing. 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 You're not seeing the hearts move. You only see Chip's moving, right? Yeah. So it still, it still takes some time for you to like. You're 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 basically guessing where the fuck the other ones are moving to. 
Okay, are um, they like through her whole body or is it like in an area? It's through her whole body, except okay. for her head up. And this is, by the way, this is very violent and and this and gruesome. Oh yeah, no, we're like we're like actually <laughs> going into a bloodlust right now, just stabbing this body with enough uh, attempts and and all of you and keeping NJ keeping focus with the uh, locate object on on avoiding chips at all times. Eventually, all the all the bodies in this room uh, melt into into dust and and in goo and just. They're gone. But hers is still there, no matter what? Hers is still there. Okay, so that was gory and disgusting, and I feel like that was like maybe a little bit wrong. Absolutely covered in blood, hud to toe. At, at this point, uh, you kind of hear Zamia star green walking up with Igneous, and, and they look a little appalled, but except for Zamia, she's like, fuck, fuck that, like, like deserved. But uh, uh, not appalled in like a, just kind of like it's it's gross, right? Like it's it's really um, and like yeah, not like not like you guys just did something terribly evil. More like yeah, I turned I turned <laughs> them covered in blood. We had to do it. It's a lot for some people, especially a cleric of of, of Aster. Yeah, I mean like she left surgeons. us no choice. Yeah, right. <laughs> she walks up, um, sniffily. Star says, "Please, is there any way I can help? Can you make me not a zombie?" <laughs> We're laughing. It's really not funny. It's not. Yeah. Only thing we have to go on is there's that pod there. Something's up with it. I think the drag queen's in there. Don't know if we should do anything with that. And if we pull out a heart, it usually melts into goo. I don't know. Did we do any more science with that? Was that like consistent theme? Did they always melt into goo? When we it consistent. Them? It was super consistent. Consistent theme. Super, super, super would not do it again for this. I'd like my heart back. And also she's still alive. Kind of. And then to kill her. Totally. Maybe we can get you a new one, Chip. No, probably not. No heart store. Hearts hearts are, are that like easy. Heart yeah. heart what about hardware store? You told me about hardware store. That's hardware store. Hardware, not hardware. What would I need hard for? You guys just ramble, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Star says Aster's light has been for lack of a better term, clouded, obscured for a decade, and I will try my best here to see if she can spare any to guide us. And uh, she has her staff. They have found their um, respective ones. Hers is that uh, golden staff that has the, um, I don't have the art up right now, but it has kind of like the sun uh, decorum at the, at the tip. Uh, green, the tabaxi is just kind of in the background right now, but he has a staff that looks to be made of a small very tree. It looks similar to the one um, that you've seen above the sky, That though this one is not dead, it's a staff. And so she uses the staff and she sort of uh, rings it as like these uh, almost like wind chime sounds and her hand glows a bright light. She holds it towards the Captain Widow on the ground and then the other one uh, towards Chip as the staff sort of uh, remains standing straight up on its own. And she closes her eyes and she begins to recite a short prayer to Aster and then her magic fades I, I'm so sorry I, I oh, fuck. whatever she has done to you I cannot easily undo it no that's... the answers are not in this room that's okay thanks for trying Zami actually speaks up uh, we are grateful that you fought with us saved us and earned this small victory despite the insanely stacked odds. Yeah, I mean, thanks for going on along with our really stupid plan. <laughs> Had we anyone died other than this, I would never trust any of you again. <laughs> <laughs> but you brought Star. And she looks at you, Gillian. And I know what it is I want to be devoted to. And she hugs her close. For now, this is where our help ends. Sees Gillian started to pull out a pamphlet on like the gods of the undersea and then slowly tucks it back <laughs> in as he realizes what she's talking about. <laughs> and then Igneous chimes in. This is well beyond us. But once you figure it out, come back to us. See us in the hideout. And he puts a, a, a hand on your shoulder, Chip, even though you look, you know, dead. Even without it, you've got more heart than anyone in here. Hmm. If it was me, I would have turned tailed and run. 
The second she showed me that first vision. See you soon, Riptide Pirates. Keep it real, Egg. Dap him up. Keep it real. It's your island now. Go crazy. They all walk out. Um, you watch uh, the tabaxi that Gillian learned green to actually kind of stay by the door and wait and leave and let them go without him. Now, what do you guys want to do? I think I need a, a minute, guys, just to process the whole being dead thing. Yeah, totally. I'm just going to be here super close next to you. You're not going to turn into... Are you feeling okay? Are you tired? Are you, do you maybe maybe you guys could just look at the the mass on the ceiling, see if there's something going on there, and just give me a second to breathe. Or I guess, yeah, just um, if you feel yourself going, make a death rattle or or sound or scream if something is happening or if anything feels off, or if. You know, I'll, I'll weird you know, undead stuff, Gillian. or like, we're still cool, right? I know you've seen me smite a lot of people like you, but I just want you to know that we're, no matter what happens, we're still cool. Just okay, my ghoul. All right. Dap him up. I dap him up. You guys are suddenly startled by a <laughs> from the sack that pulsates uh, uh, twice. Slower than before. Oh, right. She said soon, didn't she, on that? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and the the expansive red glow it was emanating throughout this chamber, throughout the entire capital, begins to slowly die down. Jay, I trust you more than anyone on what to do with the sack. It's your call. Well, her entire crew is dead. It's just Chip's heart in there. And she wants this pot alive, so maybe she could undo it? <laughs> we have more cards now than before. But I don't know. I don't know if letting the Dread Queen be reborn is going to be catastrophic on this world, or, or what the deal is. I can tell you right now, I'm not a fan of unleashing someone called the Dread Queen out of she... a big pulsing sack. Yeah, that's fair. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm with you if you think that's the play. That's one play. Um... Second play is destroy it. Third play is put chip inside of it. <laughs> what? Hang on. Okay, run the third play by me real quick. I don't know. Like maybe there's like <laughs> some regenerative properties, and like he just needs nutrients no. to regrow his heart. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Think about it. Those these pods, they've been sucking in all these nutrients and growing this, <laughs> growing this thing. I think Jay, I think you've got it. I can vortex warp them inside the sack without even breaking the membrane. Dog, you guys are crazy. <laughs> While they're doing that, I would have split off before that conversation happened. Um, walk. Maybe maybe I'll take a walk over to that hole in the wall into the... Emperor's old yeah. uh, chambers. Yes, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like royal chambers. Um, huge, huge, you know, go deluxe there. king size bed. I'll use my... Um, I'll use my... Burning hands. Can I use burning hands to ignite a torch in the room? Yeah, they're like, you know, uh, just nailed into the wall. Just go around, light a couple of them. Just start looking around. I just I just like to poke around first. Um, see if there's anything interesting in here. Yeah, uh, roll investigation. This is reliable talent, so it's going to be a 16. It looks like a fair amount of whatever was in here was ransacked long ago by these... um pirates and, and you know where their room of treasure is most of the stuff that was valuable in here is not valuable anymore there, there's like a, a a small corner for the study uh with a a very rotted book left behind it looks to be like a like a journal of the emperor is it thesis I'll, I'll definitely glance at it you start from the beginning or the end like where did you just open up at the middle probably like, middle in the middle uh one of the pages seems to be to stay uh normal entry though it's post hole in the sea as the thesis writes about the struggles of trying to optimistically lead an inevitably uh dying people there's this mention of um raft pulling out of uh, of the of the country of the island after aiding for some time 
and that was when the Emperor's hope dwindled in their survival. But he writes a lot about the hope in the goddesses, you know, divine system or, or plan or whatever, and that one day a savior, the prophetic hero, will free them from this like and see. Turn the pages and then it starts to get more and more insane as his mind is lost and corrupted. And there's mention of these captains who at some point used him to, um, and controlled him to bring people who were survivors into the castle for safety, only to be lost and uh, turned into nutrients uh, until he became a monster. And then he was uh, asked out to roam the city. But the last pages are just a mad scribbling of insanity. Complete break of the psyche. I see. Is there a window? Oh, oh, in this room? Yeah, there is, there is a window. I'd just like to look out on the area, maybe the area we came up through, um, or wherever it would be looking out on. It's a little off of the skew from where you entered through that small hole. Yeah, you look off. Okay. Reach into my pocket, and I'm going to pull out the compass. Go ahead and make your wisdom save. All right, 19. What is he hoping this compass is pointing him towards? Life. A way back. The compass points. Uh, uh, at first, it's pointing outside the window with you, and you connect to it. You feel that the corruption of this artifact mess with your mind, but not enough to change it from what it already is. And it's wiggling towards the uh, window, and then it immediately, uh, jarringly, sort of spins back around and points towards you. And then it points a little to the left, but it's still pointing towards you, towards the chamber you came from. Is the engraving still on it? The, uh... The N-I-K? The, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you listen in on everything. Or just the good parts. Not sure I'm gonna make good on your deal if I'm dead. I just look up and look around. You got anything? The compass uh, almost very softly vibrates in your hand. Uh, and you feel almost like magnets. It start to guide it like it will lead you. You follow? You let it take your hand like a hand? Yeah. Um, it, it, it retraces your steps back to the hole you crawled through to get into this chamber. Mm. And as soon as you get to the hole, the the dial on this compass or whatever it's called is pointing directly at the egg sack, the red sack. And it's continuing to pull you towards where it's pointing. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, you already know. <laughs> and you're actually hearing at this moment them not arguing, but throwing back and forth, throwing you into the egg sack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe he'd actually like it in there. It'd be sort of like a sensory deprivation I, tank. He doesn't have I to breathe anyway, I think we had to like, right? evacuate its current occupant before we well, can do that, though. It might be well, dangerous no, in there. I mean, well, maybe they could get along, or maybe it's like a nature versus nurture thing where if you get inside the egg, we can convince the Dread Queen of something. And I mean, if anyone can convince anyone of something, it's Chip. So he goes into the egg pre-birth and then do i get anything else outside of just <laughs> the pointing towards the sack you actually you feel it like keep pulling you like it's trying to pull you somewhere you can totally uh follow it if you want yeah i would we're not we're not paying attention right now no we, we're not looking yeah we're too anything. busy talking about teleporting you into a sack you step over the broken throne and the compass keeps guiding you towards the sack until your hand passes right through it like sticking it in water and it's keep it's going to keep pulling you in on second thought jay i think it's probably a bad idea to put him in the sack if you let it yeah i would i feel like it's an okay idea i mean look at him he's already halfway in i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and you guys would see chip get enveloped by the sack and disappear chip once you let the compass pull you in, 
you emerge into a, an interior of only red as far as you can see and the compass st- slap or snaps shut and in front of you there are these uh, twisted uh, fleshy cords coming from uh, an indiscernible location from the top from the back uh, and they're all connected to this body that that almost kind of looks like a, a doll or a growing person but it has been tampered it's slat and it's bleeding from the chest and in front of it you hear doof, 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 doof. and there is this hooded figure very similar to the merchant you saw at the bottom of the steps to the palace and at first they hold out their arm and they're holding this heart larger and thicker than average and it pulses doof, 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 doof. and with the other hand they pull the hood back to reveal purple tiefling horns Niklaus. <laughs> i knew it bro i can't believe we fucking did shrooms in front of this guy <laughs> and that's where we're gonna end the session oh, oh god damn it he fucking saw me I. oh shit oh my god that's where we end the session oh no that goes hard i didn't even think about the fact that he was hooded in i didn't think about the merchant i didn't think about the merchant when i saw the hooded figure Hey, hey, just want to jump here at the end to say thank you to all our $50 patrons, uh, such as that rare John, Humu, Humu, Nu, Kunu, Kua, Pua, uh, Jesus Bree, It's Albert, Tintunu, William B. Wumbo, Insomnia Draws, Kelly the Raccoon, Goodest the Lad, Agar Steeljaw, Mr. Anderson 1078, Mephobia Man, Aaron Moment, Mr. Magic Fingers, Water Lenny, Alistair Sussy, Broderick Motif, Final Fan, Philo Ash. Certified Cringe Fail Loser Boy, To Be Determined the D&D Group, Haribo, That One Person, EMT3, Erica Moon, Kojo Wo, A Pirate with Gout, Mr. C, Gooblek Whisperer, Novasync, Teeny Ghosts, Willistrator, It's C Fresh, Me Forever Mate, Sirizaku, Charlie Darling Songbird, Aqua the Kaizoku, Bazozo, Ikofu, Kadis Betis, Titan Storm, Luke Rambu, Lemon Leviathan, Ruth the Banana Duck, Unstable Chaotic Cracker, A Moon Beast Fan, Trite Metal, Daxi Boy, Vapor, Colin the Bard, I'm Butt Flusting, Beans, Pupper in a Spacesuit, Joey Madness, Pippin the Alchemist, Sweet Cacti, Baca 7, Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Amber Curry, Chili and Vibe Strider, Man Made Imp, Jordan Darlin, I Am In Your Walls, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, Bisley's Burger, Mitchell Liverson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette, and Crew, Narwhal Shellfish, Riker Tamsin, Crobins, Deathclaw, Big Blue Bear Boy, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, X Boogaloo, Silvsoul, Jason the Fricker, You know what yellow, you know you you know a loon. There we go. Cornier <laughs> Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu, Nonzalotl, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRW Enjoyer, and Janua. Thank you guys so much for the continued support.